Welcome back to Lexi's Arena, presented by Underdog <laughs> Fantasy. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> yes! <laughs> we got the incomparable, undisputed best shooter on the couch, Lexi Brown holding yes. it down. Yes, that's a good seat. I took your seat. That's your seat now. It's my seat. I'm the captain now. <laughs> That's your seat. She the captain. <laughs> we just got two other gentlemen on the show. <laughs> I'm uh, or not Lexi Brown. Who? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Greek brother. I'm the Nasus. I'm the Nasus. The Nasty. I'm the Nasus now. You, you're Nasus. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yes. So, so this is Lexi's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. Obviously, we got Lexi Brown here, styling and stunning, fresh off her. Fourth place performance <laughs> in the first ever girl shootout. Fourth place doesn't sound that nice. Just <laughs> say the, the top best. four. Just say the, the, the best on the couch. Thanks. The best on the couch. We got our, our show's former namesake, Gilbert Arenas, back here with us. <laughs> What's up? What's that leather, Gilbert? Oh, uh, yeah, got the leather. They said it was uh, pink or red. <laughs> I was confused, so I just put both. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Kenya Martin back here with us. What's Fre that? Fresh off a of stellar performance on the mic at the shootout. Talking about? All lower. <laughs> All lower, man. All lower. <laughs> if you were to listen to Kmart, you'd be stacking some dough right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. So, Lexi, how... I want to say, I didn't bet on us. So I didn't pick low on Lexi. Okay. So I stayed. Very, okay. very strategic. Yeah, but yeah. the mother two do, yeah, I definitely <laughs> bet on them. For sure. <laughs> For sure. So, Lexi, how does it feel to be in Lexi's arena? It feels great. It's really cute in here, too, so I really appreciate um, you guys setting this up. Gil messaged me yesterday and said he was decorating... So I was like, oh, you, you decorated such Gil? a gracious loser. Or did you project manage? Project okay. management. Over, put it over here, put the balloons over here. <laughs> Shout out Arc to our crew. over here. Hey, hey, bro. You got 12, dog. I ain't seen, I really ain't, like, we ain't had the time to really, like, interact since. Mm -hmm. Cause I had to get out of it, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you was here? Yes. Oh, so, so you're going to have to just re keep reliving this. No, no, no. It was a decent, it was, it was a decent 12. No. It was a fashionable 12. A spirited 12. It was, it was, it was disgusting okay. 12. It was like 40, 45% from the future. Yeah, performance anxiety. Huh? Yeah, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you were sweating like crazy. I was sweating like 48%. I didn't run, no, I was sweating like yeah. a slave, bruh. I told your ass to go first. <laughs> Shit, I would have went that motherfucker. You know this? We're going alphabetically in this bitch. Um, who is B? I'm going against B first. Who is yeah, I'm going to go. B first. I'm going to get this shit out the way. I'm going to go against A. We're going with the first and the last alphabet. We're going to go with that goddamn way. I'm definitely going to shoot first. Yeah, yeah. 12 is. Yeah, that's, that's, that's that was. 12 is good. Agent 12. Huh? Yeah, was all right. You got two more than the bottom person. Two more. <laughs> and he wasn't a perform former scorer. Or, and never mind. But you got facts. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he didn't practice shooting either. <clears throat> that, like was you the, that was the worst part. All that shooting. Shooting and doing. cheating and changing the rules yeah, and all that for 12. Didn't help. That's what I get. That's what, that's what my ass get. See, that's. For, cheaters never prosper. Mm. No, kind of. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. 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 At times they do, yeah. Sometimes they do. Absolutely. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they don't, as we'll talk about later in the show. <laughs> sometimes you get got you get a 25 game suspension. <laughs> sometimes you cheat and <laughs> you know, that they take you back. <laughs> 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 so you can cheat some more. Oh, oh look. Oh, we do not condone cheating on this show. Thanks. We do not on Lexi's Arena, presented by Underdog <laughs> Fantasy. Oh, Woo yeah. Woo. All of you Woo -woo. flip it a change. <laughs> flip it off. Flip it off. Everything's different now. All, the, Thursday. all of you flip the change. So, Lexi, were you, Thursday. were you surprised you finished the highest amongst the crew? No. Not at all? Not at no. You knew what time it was? Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, I'd say Gil was only shooting NBA threes from his little gun. <laughs> So that wasn't going to work. Basketball gun, correct? Yeah, oh, yeah, sure, from the basketball know, gun. Make sure fans. Brandon wasn't practicing <laughs> at all. Threes from and his gun. <laughs> for sure. I was shooting five threes at LA Fitness and then going home. So I don't. I was in the gym every day preparing for a season that's upcoming, not for the shootout, but I knew it was all going to translate. Multitasking. So it is Lexi's Arena. So anytime Gil's talking, you just want to shush him. You have that power. Ooh. Blow the whistle. Foul on the play. <laughs> foul on the play. All right, like your I don't better. foul. I just let you go basketball. <laughs> so here's what's cracking in Lexi's arena today. Uh, we have the highest finishing female in the first ever Gill shootout, Jenna Bandy, pulling up to talk her shit in just a little bit. The Heat finally made a trade, uh, but what does landing Scary Terry mean for Miami? 
And on the 18th anniversary of Kobe's 81-point game, Embiid and Cat both made history. We'll discuss Monday's bucket getting bonanza. But before we get into all that, as always, this show is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Download the app. Use promo code GILL in honor of the show's former namesake, Gilbert Arenas, and they will match your first deposit up to $100. Go ahead and download the Underdog app. Support us, please, so we can keep giving you Lexi's Arena, the show that you know and love. The name you know. And as always, we do mostly fans at the end of every show. So if you drop a good question in the chat with your Underdog Fantasy username, and we use that question on the show, we will give you a $50 bonus to your Underdog Fantasy account if you send us a video at mostlyfansgill at gmail.com and we use that video on the show, you get a $100 <coughs> bonus in the count. And as always, if you can't watch Lexi's Arena live with us on YouTube, we got audio versions available on Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast from. So, Lexi, this is your show, but we're going to start with the former namesake of the show. Just a question for him. The auxiliary Negro on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news. Auxiliary. Breaking Bucks coach got fired. They fired AJ Griffin. Yeah, I beat you to that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but, well, <laughs> looks like we're going to do a little pivot. This is why we're alive on the air. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks have dismissed Coach Adrian Griffin. Dang. Forced to sell ESPN. It's according to Woj. Just broke. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> broke two minutes ago. That's why we are live on the air. Damn. <laughs> Gil, I'm quick. Now, Gil, you said. <laughs> I'm quick with it. The NASA hit you? Huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dame, Dame Hitchin, like you said, uh, his job will be particularly easy after the Dame trade. Just roll the balls out, let them do what they do. Mm -hmm. uh, Giannis, supportive of him being hired, uh, replacing Boonehoser, got the boot this past offseason. What's your immediate reaction to finding out that Adrian Griffin is no longer the head coach in the Milwaukee Bucks? I'm pretty sure this didn't have nothing to do with basketball. I mean, because their record is two. They're number two. Well, they're number two. They're playing well without, you know, um, their third option. Middleton, you know, being fully there. So this probably didn't have nothing to do with the performance part of the game. This probably has some to do with personal, so. And there was that situation, I believe, uh, before the season started, Terry Stotts, who I think was brought on to be assistant coach, apparently got into it with yeah. Adrian Griffin during the practice, felt a little slighted and disrespected when he tried to pull Giannis and Dame to the side mm. after a shoot around and, and got chastised in front of the whole team. Woo! Damn, this is janky. What if they bring him back as the head coach? <laughs> Terry Stotts? He pulling up. They probably would. That would be man, crazy. That would be crazy if they did that. <laughs> <laughs> so Lexi, That's not very far-fetched <laughs> in my opinion. Immediate reaction to Adrian Griffin getting the boot from the Bucks of Milwaukee. Yeah, shocking. But yeah, like Gil said, it has to be something that has nothing to do with basketball because they have the best, second best record in the East. So, I mean, it's sad because you always love... One, you always love to see a, a black man as a head coach in the NBA, and that's something that people have been, like, really wanting across all sports. Um, so it's unfortunate, but the business. And according to Woj, the Bucks are expected to make assistant Joe Prunty uh, interim coach. Source to Italian ESPN Canyon. What's, what's your immediate reaction to Adrian Griffin getting sent to Chilligan's Island? Damn. <laughs> but, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I wish I had more information for y'all. Yeah, surprising. But. Definitely surprising. But like everybody has said, and I just reiterated, just yeah, it's not nothing to do with <laughs> the game of basketball, unfortunately. So Bucks 30 and 13 right now, second in the East, uh, three and a half games out of first place. Celtics doing decent. Obviously, they've had their kind of hiccups and, and road bumps with this Dame Giannis situation. I think you guys would have liked to see a lot more. Pick and roll utilized. Uh, apparently, the Bucks do as well. Uh, who do we mm. feel like? <laughs> all speculation at this point. And this is Gilzer or Lexi's arena for everybody in our fantasy. You know, my first mess up. My first mess up. Blow the whistle. I was perfect you, yesterday. I know you. I was perfect yesterday. yesterday. I'm. I'm Feeling as you guys know, I pray mentally. So when I get these curveballs, maybe it's the bow tie. <laughs> it is. It is cutting off. Looking my like a chipping. Just a tad. <laughs> overweight Chippendales. <laughs> hey, <Hated> it. <laughs> Dancer. Gil plus sized. Plus sized. Not overweight. Still sexy. <laughs> Hated it. Um, who do we feel like, if we had to, you know, just speculate and hypotheticalize, who do we feel like Hypotheticalize. Ooh, made this move? I swear. <laughs> do we feel like this is coming from the franchise player, this some organizationally, or? Hey, I, 
don't want to speculate, don't. <laughs> uh, I'm, but yeah, it's shit. I mean, it could be that. To him and the guy not getting along, I don't, it could be. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 not to say that Giannis had anything to do with this, but yeah. I'm sure the team would potentially consult him before making a move like this in the unless middle of the season. Unless it was above his pay grade. Okay, unless <laughs> somebody else felt super slighted. Super high pay grade. Yeah, this ain't above his pay grade. <laughs> nah, this is on his pay grade right now. Okay. Um, I don't. He, he probably knew. I mean, you know, he had that big speech on, you know, how everyone needs to do yeah, better, coach yeah. better, everybody, better, yeah. Everybody needs to do better. Yeah, yeah you know, so there's going to be some speculation that he probably had something to do with it. But at the end of the day, you know, it ain't justifiable, yeah. right? You know, this is no different when, you know, was it Blake? Blake in Cleveland? Black? 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 David, David Black? That, yeah, Black. when he got fired... And then, you know, Ty Tyrone Lou took over and they won championship. It's like, ah. <laughs> we going to miss you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> and what the black man do, man? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Down one. I know. Second, like, that's why when people, damn ask, it. when people ask, you know, about jobs and wanting a job as it, why? Why? Look, like. <laughs> See what they can do? <laughs> Second in the East, motherfucker, like. The last didn't get fired. Second to last to get, I got fired and my team is two. Yeah, the fact that he, nah. he's, got, he's fired before Mozzie in Detroit right now is mm. insane. Unconfirmed <laughs> reports that Doc Rivers is currently circling the block. Around the hey, oh, my God. God. <laughs> Trying to find a parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> pretty... <laughs> Hope they didn't take him out to a cornfield mafia style. Like, <laughs> damn, that's... I don't really know what else to say on this Damn one. Damn shame what happened to Flip. Damn shame. Adrian Griffin uh, fired as Bucks head coach. We will give you more information and updates as we have them. But as of right now, just a, a small blurb. But damn, they, they, they put the call in and there wasn't nothing we could do about it. Woo. Mm -mm. Always a lot of fun on Lexi's Arena. <laughs> 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 hey, so you got your first breaking news. Breaking news. I'm sorry, I had to break because I knew it, but... I know, you was quick. Yeah. I should I should do it. I know, Dave. And Gil, to your point, uh, David Blatt, when he was booted by the Cavs, he was in the midst of his second season, uh, was 30 and 11 at that point, and he got <laughs> fired and replaced by Ty Lue. <laughs> <laughs> so Pruti uh, was the interim coach for the Bucks in 2018 in between the transition between Jason Kidd and Budenholzer, so he does have some experience uh -huh. in this role, but damn. Yeah, somebody sat down with somebody and was like, hey... <laughs> This is, hey, this is what I need you to do. <laughs> I'm not going to be here. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. All right, well, let's keep this thing moving. So Back to the original question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gil, you made an appearance on Paul George podcast this week and talked about how you jacked MJ for some of his Wizards gear after you joined the team in 2003. That man's a machine, man. MJ. There's items that his team searches for on the internet. Let's say you got some PEs, right? They're just made for you. So if he Make ever see them on the net being sold, he knows every item. That's crazy. Like them shorts. So I had my son when he was in Jordan camp, had my son go up there and get it signed. And he was like, hey, where'd you get this? My dad. Who was your dad? Gilbert. I knew it. Where's the rest of the Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, when he left, he left all his game and practice stuff. So when he seen that, he knew that was his stuff. So he was like, give me the rest of the shit. And then he signed all his old, all his practices. So I have his under game practice shorts, under game game shorts, had his orthotics. I wore his orthotics during my career. For real? Yeah, yeah. Y'all thought y'all was getting the Agent Zero? Y'all was getting the Agent Zero and MJ. <laughs> Gil, you were another man's orthotic? Hell yeah. That's MJ. Did you spray him you? down first? Huh? You spray him down first? Hell no, it was MJ. It don't they, matter. They what? Worked? You raw they dog fit. MJ's orthotic. Yes. Did they, work? <laughs> did they work? Did they work? Three-time All-Star, three-time All-NBA. Oh, so this was Yes, they did you, you use them the like, whole time? Like Mike. like Mike, really? That's funny. That's what? Hilarious. That's like not wearing another like nigga Mike draw. Real, I, 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 it ain't no, it's not a regular. That's like wearing another nigga draws, dog. No, not, it's like wearing Michael Jordan draws. Michael Jordan. But who he not is. regular. <laughs> it's like <laughs> nigga feet sweat when you walk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Draws then socks. I feel just, like listen, in that order. Just in, like, cause everybody's calling me cat. Right. So look. 
Wait, you got? Hell yeah, I got what you, you talking you about. You stole off from Space Jam? What you? Right, so look. <laughs> this, is, this is his game shorts. This is the game shorts that he wore under the games. I had him sign these. But how many pair of those does he have? Is it only just one? one? Just one. Just one. Yeah, so we all are, had some of them. Yeah, so it's just... But you, you, you jacked MJ for his UNC shorts. I didn't jack him. He left them. That you and permanently that, then I made him, And then I made him sign it. <laughs> and you didn't give him back. And then this is his... This is his bag, right here. God damn it, this is it, right here. You That's, still have the bag. I still got the, look. Yo, and this is the way that shit was. Look, that's the real, that's yo. So that's the real? That's the way that shit was yeah, back 20, then. That's 20, how old we fucking 20, are. Listen, 23? That's how old we like, fucking are. Who wrote the 23? Do that right? shit and throw it right in the middle. <laughs> yep. No, we don't even use bags. One thing I'm playing, man. Give it, give it. Look, this is practice uniform. Look, wow. still crunchy, probably sweaty. Did you watch? The no. Hell no. I didn't watch. Watch. You raw dogged the jersey too. 23. Man, I'm pretty sure you sniffed it. <laughs> you sniffed it? Huh? Did it smell like tequila and cigars? It got his practice shorts. Them being at 23. I'm going to need y'all to stop calling Gil a liar. <laughs> I know. I don't like, know why they do it. Oh, those are the dogs. I like Where do you keep this? Uh, These are the game dogs? ones. They turn color. They turn Dang. colors. They purple, man. They, they are. It's you winter tree. We played in them. 23? Nah, nah. Oh. They, What's hilarious? Hey, look. Sports. These might tear. It's all crunchy right here. It's all crunchy. <laughs> and then these is then it, these is the ones he wore in the practice. Wait, so right. how, how, I supposed to say, how I many UNC shorts are one. there? So he has one for practice and one for game. Ah. Uh, where, where do you keep this uh, MJ stuff, just out of curiosity? S storage? Yeah, come okay. on, man. I got, look, come on, man. Let's I got the. Store. And what's so funny is I have all the. Um, this is before dry fit. I have all the game. I have all the, the uh, practice uniforms. I mean, not the game. I got the game stuff too. So these are the game shorts. I have that. So I'm having them framed. And you just been sitting on this stuff for twenty plus years. Yep. Never washed. Nope. Original. Original. I don't know why they be thinking I be capping, bro. <laughs> Is that true? I was just joking about Doc Rivers, <laughs> but as you guys know, I can see the future. <laughs> Negro Domus in action. So Dr. Wow. Rivers has emerged as a serious candidate uh, for the Bucks job, according to Sean. Let's make sure, hold on, let me go to the internet. Make sure we're not getting ball sacked or any of those uh, other. If, and if that's not real, then blame my father, because he's the one who just sent it to Ooh. me. Well, you know. <coughs> oh, oh, heads use social media differently. Yeah, no. So according to Sean, this was reported uh, about eight minutes ago, Doc Rivers has emerged as a serious candidate to become the Milwaukee Bucks' new head coach. Sources are telling Shams in the you athletic. You like Doc um, on, the, on the games? No, he don't have the on the game voice. Kill. <laughs> no, nah. So no, not a fan. Mm -mm. I don't mind it. I don't mind. I don't mind him. I think it's funny how some of his former players call him Glenn, like they don't respect him as a doctor. But <laughs> that's neither here nor there. That would huh? be insane. That, yeah. Doc. That's not a lot of options. <laughs> Doc is on the block. In 414. <laughs> I told you, you're circling. You're circling. Hey, that's so funny you did say. Y'all need some help? <laughs> Y'all need some help? Y'all got a 3 1 lead we can blow real quick. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. No disrespect to Doc Rivers of the River Sam. Yeah. <laughs> We got all over the place today on Lexi's arena. <laughs> Forget about it, off. I, I still can't believe it's a little chaotic today. <laughs> I still can't believe you have the bag of MJ soiled uh, practice stuff in the original <laughs> the order. Yeah. The Sharpie then twenty three on the shorts. <laughs> like what are orthotics at? Is what I want to know. Uh, someone, listen. Someone has them. I don't think they know they have them. What? So I threw my shoes one. I threw my shoes out. One, oh, yeah. And then my uh, and then they were in my shoes, and I forgot to take them out. Did you realize that? But let's get back to this whole yeah. thing. Right? It was the, the, the uh, when I went to wear them the next day, I was like, what? And I was like, oh, shit. So let's get back to this orthotic thing. Mm-hmm. How? Easy. It was, it was in there, and then I was like, no, oh, shit. No, 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 and no, no, I no, put them no. in mine. I understand the process, <laughs> oh, okay. fuck face. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck face. <laughs> it is going down on Lexi's arena. <laughs> oh, fool. Uh -huh. I, so y'all foot shape the same? Yeah. Like you so just no, made, no, no, no. Or you one, just was in pain. One was a thir no, one was a 13 and one was a 13 and a half. So, the so you were just in I had, pain. I had, no, I had to shave the... Like, so his foot, So the arch in his foot is identical to yours? No, it wasn't. Uh, you didn't so care. So you didn't care? No. 
Because it was like a 13, it was a 13. Because our thoughts pretty much are uncomfortable when you first put them bitches on for your fit. Nah, he, nah, he for your own, own fit. Nah, nah, he wore those. Like, when you first get them bitches down uncomfortable, that's not right with the, uh, when your arches, you got, they build your arches. So nah, he was flat footed. So they got to build arch up in it. So they, so they put a certain, they make the thing a certain way, Gil. No, not the hard, he didn't have, he didn't have the hard ones. He didn't have those hard ones. So they wasn't custom? A little bit. It wasn't, <laughs> it, it wasn't what we were used to. You know, his shit was from about, probably about the 80s. <laughs> Just <laughs> generic hair, it's orthotic. He went to CVS. He yeah. went to CVS and put his foot yeah, in that motherfucking thing. It wasn't, it wasn't the hard ones that's like, it was, yeah. you know, so I just, I just cut, I just cut the little extra Oh yeah, extra definitely off. a piece of foam. Yeah. I ain't yeah. taking a picture with no mm-hmm. That's yeah. fire. He took a picture with your son, though? Boy, you special. Huh? He took a picture with Elijah? Yeah, he uh, picked my son to do the, uh, you know how you shoot shoot for the for everyone to get the uh, shoes at the end of the okay. camp? He let my son do it. Did, did they get the shoes at the end of the camp? No, my son missed. He, he pulled the GA. <laughs> Actually, he yeah, did. Jordan tapped him on the chest. he did better than I did over there <laughs> with all that pressure. <laughs> Jordan tapped him on the chest. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I sent something with KJ out there. Uh-huh. The camp. Yeah, good. <laughs> hey, man, go get these signs. You go to this yeah. camp, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Soon as he seen it, he was like, hey, uh, nah, where'd you get this from? <laughs> and he was like, where's the rest of the stuff? My son had to pull it out. <laughs> right here. Yeah, because I got the, uh, the, warm, the warm up, the warm up everything. Oh, we got Again. a knock at the door. It's forward thinking. Yeah. Yes. Who could it be? Uh oh, we got a special guest. Forward thinking. The girl. Making her debut in the arena. Legendary the content shooter. creator that puts in work across multiple sports. Certified bucket getter that also holds the world record for the farthest football thrown into a target by a woman. She put up rounds of 20 out of 25 middies, 18 out of 25 high school threes, 38 out of 50 high school threes and college threes, and 36 yes. out of 50 college threes and NBA threes. Jenna Bandy, welcome to the arena. Jenna, get up. Who run the world? Girls. What's going on? How Girl. you doing? I like Thank the bow tie. Appreciate it. Shooter. Gil said I look like, a, like an overweight the stripper. World. Look what color you got on, see? You know. I love the boots. Thank you. Love them. Thank you, okay. thank you. It's Cannon. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, we have not seen Cannon. <laughs> we have not seen Cannon yeah. in a minute. I'm bringing him on Thursday. That's the Roller Deville game. I'm bringing him on Thursday since it's my okay. arena. He can uh-huh. run around. We need, we need proof arena. of life. It's going to be chaotic because it's my arena. So. Jenna, welcome to Lexi's Arena. How's everything with you? I'll be over here with the dog. Everything's good. I'm happy to be here. Okay, we appreciate you pulling up. So for those of you who missed out on the first ever Gill shootout, here's a quick recap of the people's shooting competition. Oh, shit. I gotta rock with Lexi Brown. Shout out Lexi Brown in the building from the Sparks. Lexi, 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 Let's go and shoot that thing, Lexi Brown. <laughs> Girl's taking over. It's gonna be me and Jen at the end. You calling it now? Yeah. Jenna! Yes, Cindy! Yes, Cindy! Right, right, next to you. Wow, so beautiful. Shout out to Underdog Fantasy and Lexi's Arena and the show formerly known as Gil's Arena <laughs> for hosting the first ever Gil shootout presented by Underdog Fantasy. Can I ask y'all a question? What? Lexi, can Gil ask us a question? What, Gil? Okay. <laughs> How come when y'all do the video, all y'all shots go in, right? When they show mine, it's all my misses. Well, because you lost. I know, but you can still give me my 12 makes. No. To make it look like I was balling out that mug no, on lying, the IG. Lying to the people. They would have had your shit on loop. <laughs> Dude. Same shot. You were too, put it on loop. You were too chill, Gil, on Saturday. Yeah. You got Miracola. Like, I'm like, I'm the only one I got misses. <laughs> you got Miracola. No, you had to. If you got to the next round, even Y'all are wrong. Score. I see what's going on up in here. What, what you deserve. I know. I, Jenny, I, I, I can't even. So, so, Jenny, you finished third and were the highest ranking female in the competition. Made it to the final round, started out high from round one. Why did you feel so comfortable out there from the jump? 
I mean, like Gil, you know, I got some practice in, <laughs> just not at the district. But um, yeah, shooting's my my like my my strength. You know, um, I played college ball, um, but that was that's my strength. So I got the reps in. I, I kind of understood what the format was, and I didn't have a rack to shoot on or anything. But yeah, I got my reps in. Yeah, I noticed before the competition, the rack was slanted this way. Yeah. You weren't rolling with it, so you spun it the other way. Yeah, I didn't like how when you when you pulled the f the first ball, then like the balls would roll. Yeah. I just I didn't like that. I didn't want to mess it up. So I had it. I was pulling them from the back, so then they wouldn't roll. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Gil obviously rigged the first ever Gil shootout with the fifty <laughs> shots. In or the you can just turn there. it around and just pull from the front and just roll down. I don't like that. And I don't want it to roll and then it, I fumble it a little bit. Yeah, like there's a reason I why I got farther than you, Gil. <laughs> I'm about to just say that I, I got 12, so I fuck you, I know. Wait, what do you know? <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about it? Nothing. <laughs> Lexi's arena. Oh shit. This is Lexi's arena. Let, sir. Listen, the, the fact is, you like you said you ain't gonna lose to no girl, you lost to two girls. I did hear that. I heard those little facts. Words. The shots fired. <laughs> let a naysayer know as well. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. What was it though? I wanna know. Were you nervous? Like, what was it? He peed. Because you he talked practice. so much. He didn't practice. He, he peed a little bit. So much. He didn't practice any middies. Actually, How you didn't practice did. no middies for your I own? did practice middies. <clears throat> no, he was too busy practicing moon shots. He forgot about the, 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 the yeah, mid-range. No, no, no. I was shooting moon shots just to, because <laughs> that was going to be taunting. But I shot middies all morning. Just the lights cut on a little too high. Mm. Lights were too bright for you. Yeah. Turn them off. <laughs> Turn them also, off. It's too bright. We were all like just so amazed that you missed. So we're, we're all screaming at you. And I feel like you kind of... <laughs> It got to you a little. I didn't hear none of that. Yes, you did. All, all I felt was, God damn it, I'm Shame. missing. Yeah, we <laughs> Shit. What happened? I think I even when I, it came out of my head, I was like, fuck. <laughs> it, was, it was just all bad. So on, on his personal YouTube page, Gil shared a conversation between you two from April 2021 when he was first pitching the shootout to you. Yeah. Can you tell us about that conversation and why you believe the shootout would be a success? Yeah, I mean, Gil's always coming up with crazy ideas, but... This one actually made a little sense to me when I when I read it, but um, yeah, he was he he pitched it to me like he wanted to combine American Idol and three point shootout and, and make it like a reality thing and winning big money even more than like 100k. I think you had like the the winner like 250k and then it was like 125 and 50 and 15. Yes, like everyone gets money. Um, but he was like. How good's your NBA three? That that might hurt you, <laughs> you know. I was like, I mean, if I get my reps, then I could do it. But that was two years. That no shucks. That was 2021. Yeah. And then for it to come to life and see all the, you know, all of it come to fruition and how well of a turnout it was, it was it's amazing. I want, I'm very very curious to see where it goes. So good. It was supposed to be 250. Did child support have anything to do with that number? <laughs> <laughs> Dwindling down to 100k. No, it was, you know, this was, was supposed to be on, you know, football. Ooh. Yeah, you did say that. Yeah, it was on uh, football, like, because, you know, I had to, uh, in my contract, I can create another show. So this is what I was trying to pitch to mm -hmm. them, okay. you know, the reality style. So, you know, from there, it was just tweaking, tweaking, tweaking. And now a, a much legally different version of that original idea was presented to Underdog Fantasy mm -hmm. <laughs> with the first ever <laughs> Gil shootout. So, Jen, what was the level of competition in this shootout? The level was high. I mean, coming in there, I was like, all right, this is my chance to prove myself, you know. Um, sometimes when you're a, an influencer, you get that stigma, like you're just a trick shooter or you're just an influencer. So um, I knew if I could, you know, put up some good numbers, I'd, I'd kind of get that respect. But... As soon as Gil got out in the first round, I was like, I think that helped my confidence for sure. And I was like, wait, there's, there's a chance. This isn't rigged, you know? <laughs> Did you come in? Because that's what we all thought too. Obviously. Yeah, low key. Like when I heard, I was like, he was pitching it. He's like, it's Gil's shootout, you know? I'll be in. I'm like, you're in it. It's your own shootout. You're in it? How is that? He's like, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. You're still quiet. Hmm. It's just so <laughs> funny seeing Gil quiet for once. Yeah. It, it has so been strange nice. in Lexi's arena yeah. to see our former name. The funny thing was like when you got to eat coral, <laughs> like certain things, it's like dusty. 
But there was a lot of good hoop, like shooters out there, and like you could see how serious everyone was taking it, going to the other gym, practicing over there, or getting the reps in with the racks early. Wait, so that's where everyone was? The other gym? Yeah, in the other gym. Oh, wow. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Because he kept leaving. Who? Anthony. He yeah, was I was wondering where everybody. And, like, not smile. And yeah, I was kind of like, wait, is no one taking it seriously? I'm in the gym, but they're all at the other one. Because mm. it was, you know, the cameras are running around, everything wasn't on the floor. Like the lights thing, when we came out, that was on the floor. So, like, it's kind of, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Man, I didn't think of that. So, uh, for the other potential <laughs> competitors at home, probably wouldn't have helped. To know about what kind of work it takes to succeed in the Gill shootout <laughs> next time we come around. Uh, what was your preparation process like? Yeah, um, you know, I, I coached for five years before being an influencer. And um, I, have, I have coaches that I'm still friends with. So I was able to hit them up, get in the gym, get on the, sh the shooting gun. Um, but other than that, like, I think it, it really helped me the fact that I have been in a situation before where 100K was on the line, not once, but twice. And I've won both okay. times. So right. kind of being familiar with that helped me, like understanding it's the little details that that matter. Like I, I remember my first 100K that I won, you know, people were saying, oh, I'm a try hard or you're doing too much. Well, are you just going to wing it if you have 100K on the line? Like that's that's on you. That's stupid. I think that's stupid. Right. And then again. Um, same thing. I, it was. It's the preparation of little details. So, so like getting in there early and seeing that the racks were slanted, no. and I was like, okay, well, I kind of want to make sure that I practice with the slanted rack. I never had that before, so I wanted to see how that went. And then um, I think the first round, I even placed all the balls like so that I could grab it on the seams, you know. And then after that, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna place the balls like on the seam where I want it because it'll actually make me mentally slow down because I felt a little bit rushed in the first round and I was like, oh, I got way more time than I think. Yeah. So if I don't grab it on the seams and I just grab it and then I kind of mess with it, feel it, it'll give me that breath and that like that patience that I need to focus and hit my shot. Okay. Yeah. So you and Lexi uh, had some of the largest sections in the crowd. <laughs> Cheryl Swoop Cheryl was <laughs> leading the charge. Uh, Cheryl turned up every time you guys went up. <laughs> very, very vocal in her support of you guys, along with the rest of the crowd. Lexi, you had your own section there. Yeah, yeah, I did. Put the signs. Mm -hmm. Shout out ca Nikki. Camera oh, angles. Nasty girl. So sweet. <laughs> Additional camera angles. Uh, you know, Rudy, can you tell all the ladies out there why more of them should come out and go for their chance at 100K in the next shootout? Because it was just y'all two. We needed yeah. more. We put the bird call out. Y'all are the only two who responded. You know what? I, I credit a lot of that, like, comfortability to Lexi. Like, she's a WNBA player, right? Like, I'm an influencer. Like, that's my title, right? And for her to just kind of accept me and, like, look, I got my friendship bracelet, baby girl. <laughs> you gave it to you me. You know what? <laughs> she got farther than you because you had her friendship bracelet on. I, I had gonna, it on while I was shooting the whole time. I was going to put mine on you in the final. You didn't have yours. Brandon didn't have his. And Rashad <laughs> didn't have his on either. I was going to put mine on in the final round. That's why. So I just think, I'll never can, make y'all a bracelet. Can you make them hater good. bracelets with nasty messages? <laughs> I just think, I just didn't get, to where, I just didn't get to where I was supposed to get to. to <laughs> hater bracelets. <laughs> but what I was saying about Lexi was the fact that, you know, she, she was championing me. I was championing her the whole way. Same with Cheryl. You know, so I definitely encourage more girls to come. Um, I think just girls are better shooters than guys in general. Mm. So I definitely think <laughs> this is a, a competition for them to yes. excel and, <laughs> and I mean, make you really, You can't really argue it right, right now in this moment. The girls are better shooters than guys. What, what was this smoke last time she challenged me? When was that? What are you talking about? When you challenged me at the gym. Okay, when I first met you, yeah, it was a basketball beauties game, yep. it was entertainment league, right? Mm -hmm. I was, I think I was hurt. That's why I was on the sideline watching. I think my knee. But anyway, mm -hmm. yeah, we like we're just going shot for shot. After the game, I'm in like normal clothes. But look, Did that's a win? whole different. Did you win? Hell no. <laughs> you keep bringing that up. That was like 2016, Gil. <laughs> It's almost a decade later. <laughs> almost a decade is crazy. <laughs> like, what does that even mean? <laughs> it's been on his mind. 
Why are you bringing up old shit? Yeah, <laughs> hey, that's all, that's all I had. That's all I had. <laughs> that's all I had. That's all I had in my bag. I will say, if, do, if girls and women come out and do the shootout, you will definitely have a humongous cheering section. Like, yeah, you just will. Wait. And even if it's a, because people are like, oh, it's, it's girls, like they don't have a chance. Like they're still cheering, and it still makes you feel good. And Wait. then. Eventually, they start cheering for you for real. Wasn't there going? There was something going on with all women. There was a there was another tournament at the same time we was having a shootout. Oh, it was my, my thing. Um, Creator League with House of Highlights. It was an all female one on one tournament. It was in uh, Florida. Mm -hmm. That's why I couldn't come to the tryout and be there with you guys. Okay, but, yeah. So I know something female list was. So going the on. Creator League is. House of Highlights, and they have one-on-one -on -one things. Go try so. to find these oh, K shootouts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> WBA three-point oh shit. Uh, you had them AIs too. Did you like them? Yeah, I did. I gave them uh, away. The yellow ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you, I forgot. Yeah, you had and the she Reebok kept the sweats on. It was dope. Yeah, my Duke sweats. Yeah, the last one shooting the shit out that thing. And that thing flat. No, y'all was making. You was. You was making. I was pounding. Lexi yeah. came in with the coffee. No warm up shots. I'm like, and I, I haven't shoot. I shot somewhere else. Cause I wanted y'all to think <laughs> okay, that. Just I wanted y'all to think that I was not prepared. Well, she got the time she did. Just strolled on in. <laughs> strolled on in with a little coffee, coffee and stuff. Kicked y'all ass. And first shot was just <laughs> wet. And then, you know she said? Y'all ain't start yet? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I got there. I got there on time. She <laughs> said, so "Y'all ain't sorry." Got on my yeah, my tough crowd shirt on, my hair, my new hair, and my coffee. And y'all was like, "Ah, oh, <laughs> she's not ready." I was worried about the time of the rounds. Like minute forty though for twenty five shots in the first two rounds. But then once I did it, then I was like, "Oh, I'm good," you know. But I kept asking the producer, like, "Okay, like, is anyone gonna tell us the time, or we is there gonna be a shot clock?" Gotta put the time, you know, like up somewhere. Definitely. We have we have a GoFundMe started uh, to get sufficient <laughs> timing <laughs> devices GoFundMe. for you guys. You know, Just ask Anthony. Anthony took all the bread. <laughs> you took <laughs> have it up we on the clock and all the time. Man. Have it up on the goal. Like, yeah, they should. I gotta say, when I first saw Anthony shooting, I like double take, like. No way. And then it was just wet. Water, water, splash, splash. I was like, no way. Yeah. I started to up after butt. that TNT clip circulated, and I was like, who is this poor, poor guy that they were making fun of? And then I saw all his videos. I was like, oh, well, can't shoot. So I'm confused by this clip. Uh, there may be some looming beef, too, uh, on the I TNT side. Uh, it. Definitely uh, some responses. They, resp they, re woken yeah. up out they responded. They responded. Not, not the on the show, the but woken up out of my slumber by several human beings uh, related to the company that that we're calling Cap. And uh, oh, they got to show up. No, nah, they got no, nah, no. Nah. We don't want to hear that. You got to show up to the next Guild shootout <laughs> and prove it. Uh huh. And run a bunch of clips on your Thursday night show uh, <laughs> of the first ever Guild shootout. Yeah, Shaq got to compete. Shaq got to pull up. <laughs> and he still got 24 hours to respond. Because I know I can get more than them. <laughs> I just need some people to beat. So, shootout was a success overall. Definitely be another one in the future, as Gil's already alluded to. What, three more this this calendar? Four more. So, we're doing five total this year? Yeah, we're going to do five total this year. Get the bread right. Will you be participating you in another future? One from yesterday? Huh? It was four yesterday. It's no, five it was one, one in March and then three. June, July, August. Oh, wow. Cool. Coming up. Right. So five okay. total. So, will you be participating in future Gil shootouts to finish yeah. the story and get that 100 k I plan on it. I definitely plan on it. I got to protect my crown of third place, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing, man? <laughs> Why are you laughing? They the same thing. They're like, congrats on your fourth place finish. You know? Very like, admirable. Oh. For some girls? Yeah, that's, that's nice. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> oh, I love that. I for, yeah, I forgot. It's, we like, need a boo box or something we can put it's, Gil it's, in. It's, it's, it's woman friendly now. Yeah, this is female, female empowerment. empowerment. Red. Female For empowerment. Women. Uh -huh. This yes. is Lexi's Arena presented right by Underdog <laughs> Fantasy. Download the app. Do you have your own promo code, promo Lexi? That's cool. I don't have it. Yeah, yeah, promo code Lexi. Underdog people watching this, this ain't gonna work. Get the Lexi, <laughs> get the Lexi right. promo code going. It's gonna be kind of like my jumper. Work. It just ain't gonna work right now. <laughs> we can we'll get y'all. We'll get y'all back. We need to. <laughs> we'll get y'all back. But Jenna, tell the people where they can follow you at and keep up with all your, your content and all the stuff that you're doing. Yeah, you know, you could follow my brand, female empowerment brand, Game Changer. I'm wearing it today, Game Changer. And if you want to follow Jenna Bandy, uh, at Jenna Bandy 21 on all social handles. But follow my brand. That's, that's more important. Got to put on for the ladies. Yes, Game Changer. Game Changer. Oh. Her. 
Did not see that. See that? Okay. Emphasis on her. Coordination. You Thank got you. to coordinate. <laughs> you annoy me. No, because I know if we go upstairs right now, I'll blow y'all out right now. Because there's no lights on. I know, I know, and that's why I don't want to say it. Because you got the security camera, good. We can run the footage. But I know I'm gonna just I'm gonna wait till March. It's cool. <laughs> what are you gonna do differently? Huh? What are you gonna do differently? Because Work silence. The nerves, all the anxiety. You can't practice that. I don't think you can replicate. Yeah, yeah my what first all star. Like. My first all star. We're gonna be on your head. No, no. Nah, nah, my first all star. I was noodle knees. Second and third, I was fine. <laughs> yeah, I was noodle knees. My first all star. I was too happy. Some Second and third, talking. I'm good. You're gonna approach it. Denver. I damn near failed trying to walk out the goddamn sub. Like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. That won't happen no more. I'm good. And at altitude, yeah, <laughs> hey, Chef, that, was, that was. I didn't even. I didn't even want to play. I think I played like seven minutes. I'm good. Hey, coach, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I was. I'm glad just to be hey, on the man, team. I don't need just to play have in to the get game. More than twelve. Hmm? You just have to get more than twelve. That would be a victory. Who was calling him Agent Twelve? Everybody. Uh, the chat. <laughs> we have a very spirited and boisterous chat that that follows all of our live content. Okay. Very quick on their feet. The Agent 12 just... Uh, noodle knees, <laughs> hey, noodle knees t-shirt coming that's soon. That's your next friendship Gil, bracelet. Gil Brick. That's yeah, Gil nice. Brick. That too. Very, oh, I'm bringing that. Shout out to Rashad McCants. Which one do you want? I'll take them both. Uh, or just Gil remind me. Just remind me. Okay. And shout out to Gil for, for taking the L like a champ. Uh, you did. I can only, you know. Listen. All that shit he told a, a lesser human being would be salty right now, would have punished all of us, cut our bread. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not let us in the security gate. Spent more time announcing than shooting. Mm. <laughs> Shots are being fired. Okay. Someone had to work. <laughs> I was doing it for King. King had to leave. So I was like, oh, shit, let me, let, me, yeah. let me go ahead and lose. See, I, damn, I should have thought see, that's what you, uh, see? Don't stop it. Damn, like King, it I should have thought of that. I was like, oh, King had to leave, so somebody had to work. Absolutely. I'll let you go with Missed that. Missed the opportunity. Yeah, this is, I could have used that. Go ahead. Are you going to compete trying. in all the next ones? Hell yeah. What you, is you crazy? No, I mean, you should You think really I'm going to let y'all call me 12? You dug yourself a hole. I... Uh, 13 is better than 12. <laughs> and I'm putting the two-point I'm putting, I'm putting, uh, the two -point balls at the end just so if I make those, I... Oh, yeah, I we do need, we need, we need some... Oh, yeah, it's going to be a different ball. format. Yeah. It will be a different format. Huh? Dog will ball. it be a different format? Yes. Oh, he's going to gonna structure an engineer. I'm going to structure it like... I did the first time that benefits me, and it, and it, didn't. it didn't. The first time you had trick shots, at, like behind the hoop. Yeah, yeah so it did. That benefits you? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jenna, we appreciate you so much for stopping yeah. by. We know you're extremely busy, have things to do. Thank Follow you. Follow Jenna, Jenna Bandy 21. Thank you. Thank you. Stay on the lookout for her content. We look forward to seeing you at another Gill shootout. Take my coffee. Game change her. <laughs> Game change her. If you're trying to get that gear her. right. Yeah, she put emphasis is it, is it reasonably yeah, we gotta throw it. What's the price point? Hey, send us, yeah, send us the link. Send us the link so we can put it in the chat. What? Send us the link so we can put it in the chat. Oh, I'll give you a hug. That was awkward. Oh, okay. I love that. Oh. I'll send you the link. You gotta buy some merch. Yeah. Buy your merch. Okay. Is it a reasonable, yes, reasonable uh, price uh, point? Send the link so we can put it in the chat. I appreciate that. I actually that. would like right for now. you to wear Game Change Her. Support Jenna and her Game Change Her apparel line. <laughs> <laughs> Do not buy Agent Zero merchandise any longer. <laughs> okay. Until he leaves Agent, tw with, agent 12 on, on, on duty. <laughs> the Agent 12s with just bricks all over them. If we get the Agent 12s from Adidas, oh, I'm going to hit up Adidas now. All right, I got, I got the point. They also roll. Shout out Alan They Cam. also roll. Miles, yeah. I'm going to hit y'all up. We need the uh, Agent 12 with all bricks on it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. You and yeah, you and Weirdo. You can work for the next deal shoot off the troll. I am. Yeah. Right, well, I wish I had my original jersey. Man, you know I had my own jersey, right? What do you mean? So I didn't know we was getting really new jerseys. So I had the old jersey, like the practice jersey that they practiced in, and I put uh, me turning around with the game winner on the back of it said hibachi. And that's what I was going to put on. And then they gave me this, the new one, and I said, ooh, this one looked better. Okay. Mm, it looked well, better. I know. I should have worn I know. your original one. Trust me. I know. Should have won't you first. I know. Oh. Man. Welcome to another spirited day on Lexi's Arena. <laughs> <laughs> presented by Underdog Fantasy. The chat has been getting on me about saying Underdog Fantasy too much. So I'm going to try to curtail, curtail the amount of times I say Underdog Fantasy throughout the show. So I will say Underdog Fantasy less in shows now. 
But they need to do the, the over-under of how many times I say underdog fantasy. Put it at point five, make it a special promo so all y'all can win some bread because you know it's at least 30 to 40 times. Thanks. And that's, I'm just appreciative of their sponsorship and love and for them sponsoring the first ever Gill Shootout presented by Underdog Fantasy. <laughs> woof, woof. You said so, about eight <laughs> times in 30 seconds. Really? No, I did not. But uh, we, we got to get into uh, some interesting topics, talk about one of the biggest stories this weekend. Scary moment for Caitlin Clark after Ohio State upset Iowa in overtime in a Big Ten showdown. Uh, we've got the, the footage. So as Clark was exiting the floor, she collided with an Ohio State fan who was storming the court to celebrate the win. Dog. There are several angles of the collision. Hard to tell if and when uh, Clark saw the fan. Oof. <laughs> we got them all. Zapruder film, back into the left. But there was, it was a, you know, full-on oh, collision. My gosh. Obviously, the internet detectives <laughs> came with their own opinions. But mm -hmm. after the game, Clark offered her perspective on what went down. I was just trying to exit the court as quickly as possible, so I started running, and I was absolutely just hammered by somebody trying to run onto the court and basically blindsided and, um, you know, kind of scary. Could have caused a pretty serious injury to me and knocked the win out of me, but um, luckily... My teammates kind of picked me up and got me off the court, so, um, and their AD already came and apologized to me, so I really appreciate that, and, um, you know, that's just what comes with the territory. I mean, I'm sure they tried their best to do whatever they could. Obviously, it didn't work, and that's disappointing, but, um, you know, just focus now on the game and, you know, ways we can get better. So Clark had a 45 piece in the game, but I think I was 0-3 when she drops more than 45 points. So. Wait, wait, she, <clears throat> When she said they tried to do their best to do what? Exactly. They stopped the storming of Crowd the court. Crowd control. Oh. So after the additional angle surface. Stop uh, her. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about. Like, stopping her. Like, they sit, they they sit the ninjas out for you? They failed at stopping her and the court storming. So, so after the additional angle surface, some accused Clark of flopping in the aftermath of that Oh, yeah, I mean, it definitely gave flop. Yeah, but, but pointing out that she was the one who forearm checked the fan before falling to the ground, a, a hearty forearm check, if you will. But that is inconclusive based on the video evidence. So Lexi, we are in Lexi's arena right now. Uh, what's your reaction to the situation? And do you think Caitlin Clark flopped? Um, yeah, I've, I've never seen that happen before. I mean, you saw the girl who ran into her had her phone up. Yeah, was so not paying attention. Clearly didn't see. I cannot imagine that that girl was running fast enough are you saying that, that her, reaction? her 40 time would be on the, the upper echelon? Yeah, the, the it wasn't, of the curve? It wasn't okay. giving fast. So I hate that that happened to her because especially when you, <laughs> when you lose a game. And I can't imagine how I would have reacted if I just lost and then, then a fan runs me over. But the, yeah, it was definitely a little exaggerated. Some extras, <laughs> extras put on it. If she was smart, she would have just stayed on the ground, my neck, my back, my neck and my back. I need a it's million. like, does she want to press charges? Like, what is, what is this? What are we doing? The apology was enough. From the AD? Sufficient? What you okay. What you Can you, what was your reaction to the situation? And do you think that Kaylin Clark sold the call a little bit? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the, it's just like the words that she chose to use in the press conference. Like, I was absolutely hammered. <laughs> like... It's like a little cop like, girl with a phone. Yeah, like, I was absolutely... Like, she, like he played middle linebacker for Ohio State. <laughs> I mean, like, kind of had a full back build. Yeah, like, being like, <laughs> wow. I'm just saying, Kyle, you check, you know. You know what I'm saying? But come on, man. Like, though so she wants us to bleed her or eyes. <laughs> right? Really? At this point, like, you want me to bleed your words or what we just... Like what we seen when it happened, and the the fact that people can slow it down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, it looked crazier. In <laughs> and it yeah, just, like, it, it really like in real time. It looked bad. Mm -hmm. Cool, but no. <laughs> <laughs> back into the left. Back into the left. Yo. Lucky for her, her being an athlete is what kind of saved her, because she's looking and then she's seeing it right at the end, and then that's yeah. when she chucked. Yeah. But, the fan fell harder than she did. The fan. She hit a boom. She was like, ugh. She didn't know which arm to grab. Ah, ah, ah. The fan didn't even drop the phone. <laughs> the fan got right up and kept recording. She was like, ah. 
You know what we need to see? Thank that you. video. Thank you. I would yeah, love to see that the angle. The fans angle. <laughs> that, that fan angle. See how rolling. <laughs> <laughs> the FBI is a suspect. Mashu. <laughs> uh, fan, please. Have any, video. have any of y'all ever been in a situation like this, and how scary is it to see a horde of fans from an opposing team storming the court? Never been a part of a court. Do y'all know you, you've been in at least one situation like this? Ours was a riot. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really no fans running on those other players. What happened? No. Yeah. This was the uh, us against uh, the Trailblazers. Okay. When the fight broke out because uh, Rasheed Wallace hit a turnaround jumper. But that was just players, so... In college, you never had fans storm the court? Like, say, when you came to Los Angeles? After we beat y'all? No, we did not win. You haven't, you haven't beat us? 32 in the second half. In overtime. I know. But you didn't win that game. Oh, I won. You so won. That's, that's, okay. that's the difference. Okay. All right. so, okay. no. um, you got a pass, LA pass, 32 piece. I'm pretty sure I was on courts when fans stormed it. Well, how do you get, like, so how do you get out? Because when I see this court storming, I immediately think of the players, like, how do you get out of that? Easy walk. You walk, right? Yeah. yeah I think her, she went wrong trying to also run. She shouldn't have also started running. I think she's probably just trying to get out the court thinking yeah. that. I think sometimes we think that the other crowd wants to cheer with us. Like, yeah, no, they are clearly, not worried about you. Clearly, no one gave a fuck about your 45. <laughs> no one cared. Nothing about it. It's like no one came up to her and just, hey, take a picture. Yeah. Watch out. <laughs> Woo! Can you ever had a situation like this where fans stormed the court? And uh, is it open season on fans when they do that? Oh, are you, just make, yeah, I think we all share that same look. Yeah, you all can rush the court if y'all want. Hell yeah, shit. We was in UNC Charlotte. Yeah, that shit was rowdy. It's small gym too. Yeah, they beat us. You know, they was the only place that we lost were on the road that we were ranked high. And them college students, they hated our guts. So yeah, they ran out there and they was throwing shit and doing, Ooh. yeah, it was bad. And they was right, and the ball rack was right by where we was walking to our locker room. Oh yeah, we cleared the ball rack on them. <laughs> this close, uh. lining they ass up. <laughs> Bow! <laughs> yeah! They're lining them up. Yeah, absolutely. We have that on video. Hey, <laughs> playing man, dodgeball oh, with the cops. Absolutely, with basketballs, they were close too, close range. You know, we was absolutely. We know the way yeah, how yeah, we was yeah, built, was so aggressive. you know. Yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah, and they. So the next, we went back for next, and they had moved the student section, and everything. <laughs> oh, they moved it to their side of the court where they tunnel was and all that. Yeah, they. Yeah, absolutely. Hey. It was. Yeah, it was. It was like that. It goes down, ladies. And gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> like, you ever been in a situation like that? <coughs> mm -mm. Would you have trucked that fan if you were in Caitlin Clark's um, position? I mean, probably. Mm. But I would, I would assume that, like, which is why I think it was flopping, because if you hit somebody, like, your momentum is now that way, not this way. Yeah. So, and I probably would have been like, oh, my God, are you okay? Like, I don't, like, I don't know. I can't, I can't speak in a situation like that because I've never been in one. But if, like... I knock someone over, I'm probably gonna. No, I'm gonna line yeah. you up. Yeah. I don't know, I'm just be like, are you okay? Not, maybe not size, even go over there. Size, but speed like, no. up, catch up speed. <laughs> you can rush the court if you want to, but you gotta be prepared. And like Floyd Mayweather always says, protect yeah. yourself at even all times as a fan. Like if I see you, I'm moving out of your way, walking here, escorting you out. Talk, Mr. Martin, please. Yeah, nice. we lost at UNC one of my seasons and they didn't even storm the court, so. The, just, the fucked up part is when they know they're about to storm the coach, and then the coach takes all the good players out, and then they, <laughs> they go to the locker room, he makes the other crew have to stay on there and fend for themselves. <laughs> you know, not because I haven't been in that situation before. So, um, but let's keep this thing moving. Time for some hibachi time. Lexi time. No. Oh, what was it called? What are we, do we have? No, we don't. What is we don't even know, you don't even have You don't even have a slogan. No, I don't. We'll come up with one. See, that's I'm gonna a, beat a shooter him again. Where, I'm gonna beat him again in the next shootout. So shooter with no slogan. What kind of shooter is that? <laughs> hey. A better shooter yeah. than you. Tell him shooter shoot. Shooter shoot. <laughs> so we gotta talk about <laughs> what? Hey, oh! Shit, I should have got in it. You got twelve, man. From the midi, yeah. Okay, you would have got off the midi for sure. You. Hell yeah, seventeen. I would have knocked them right down. So I'm so used to dribbling and shoot. That's Dude, you could have did it. You had enough time to do all that. Dribbled. And then you get your rhythm. 
I didn't think. Then you ain't got to. I was doing that on a three dribble. I didn't think about that on a midi. So you, yeah. Excuses, excuses. So 18th anniversary of Kobe's 81 point game uh, on Monday, and Embiid celebrated the occasion with a legendary bucket getting performance of his own. Joel. Roll the tape. The Send the video. And Embiid dropped a career high in Sixers record 70 floor. points is, on Wimby and the Spurs. Just 34 points right in the first half. Collins. 36 in the second half. The break. 24 for 41 in the Martin game. Well. 14th 70 point game in NBA history. First since Dame dropped one a little under a year ago. So Embiid is now the third player in NBA history to have a 70 and 15 game. 70 points and over 15 rebounds. <laughs> Joining Elgin Baylor and Wilt. To beat also the fastest to drop 70, doing it in 37 minutes. Uh, light work, Damn. as the kids say. Who's number 23? Zach Collins. Oh, no, he got abused. Uh, you know, come get this work. I can't get jiggy with this shit. Uh, Embiid is now averaging 50.6 points per 48 minutes. <laughs> which puts him on pace to be the first player in NBA history to average over 50 per 48 minutes. Wilt only averaged 49.8 points per 48 in his 50-point-per-game season. He was playing whole game and overtimes, which I think is another. Like, he, man wasn't coming off the game for nothing and going to the club afterwards and turning up. Lord. Give him the crown. So players around the league witnessed Embiid's electrifying performance. I had to pay their respects, including LeBron. <laughs> who was watching the game, said 70-piece nugget, Joel Embiid, crazy. So Kevin Durant was busy dropping a 40-piece of his own on the Bulls, but also showed some love after his game. I don't know if you saw Joel Embiid score 70, Cat has 60. 70? Yeah, Joel has 70 today. 58 yeah. He has 70? Yeah. So what did nights like tonight mean in the NBA? Shit. <laughs> KD feeling good about himself. Yeah, I got my 43. Right. I know I got to be one I of them. I think I'm finna be the talk of the night. That's what I'm that shit it. is about like. To be. It is Put me in the GOAT debate. <laughs> the motherfucker got 70. <laughs> so after the game, Embiid reflected on his career night uh, while showing love to both Kobe and Wimby uh, after the rookie said Embiid's dominance was inspiring. Yeah, even though I started playing late, you know, from the time I started playing, Kobe was my guy. Uh, he's the reason why I started playing uh, basketball. And it's funny because on the same night, he had 81, and, you know, um, you know, that was my favorite player. So, you know, when I started, that was the guys that I was looking, you know, I was looking up to, and, you know, they, they were doing all this. So, you know, if he says it's inspiring, I hope, you know, in a couple of years, uh, hopefully when I'm, I don't have to guard him and I'm out of the league, he, he's able to do the same thing and, you know, go out and break all these records and possibly break uh, Wilt's record of 100 points. So we're going to talk about uh, Embiid saying that he thinks Wimby could possibly break Wilt's record of 100 points, but let's talk about Embiid right now. Is Embiid the most dominant player in the world at this very moment? Yes. <laughs> Easy? Easy. Just give him the MVP right now. Just give it to him. I don't care if he don't play 65 games. <laughs> I really don't. At this yeah, point. He, hey, he could chill right now. Yeah, just okay. give it to him. Go ahead and rest, big dog. I hate that rule. They need yeah. to take it out. But shit. It would be a shame this man plays no, 64 have to, games. It's going to be... See, now, now you got to make it a fucking decision now. Right? This man lead the league average, what? Because it, it's only going up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His point average is only going up from here. Just say if you don't play the game, amount of games, do then what the fuck the league does? Do you, gonna, do you stand on it? They're gonna stand on it and then change the rule next year. See, yes, yeah, so and you fuck my <laughs> They're gonna it. stand on it. It's horrible. Get a lot of get a lot of uh, bad press about it. Absolutely. Then change it. So you think Embiid would? Take one for the league, essentially. No, no I mean he still to change no. the rule no. back. No, no, no. no. What he can only miss what eight more games, something like that. I think I was nine. Is it only miss nine more games? So it's not like he's that. He's he's still far away. It's just yeah. hopefully nothing happens to him right. to the point where it's forced misses. I mean, I think let's say he's eight, ten games away, and, and never want to wish it on anybody. But something does happen. Just get your ass out there, check in, yeah. wave to the fans, come sit on the bench. 
game count it. Yeah. We'll yeah. circumvent and get like you love to do. We'll circumvent whatever. We'll find a loophole in this shit. But there's no way you can watch what he's doing right now and not say that he's the favorite to win the MVP. No, I mean, shit, he's been the favorite for the last what, damn shit two months. Uh, he's been playing like it. Um, unstoppable. And, you know, that, that what we were saying last year, that he has more in his tank. And if he played like Giannis and had Giannis in, in uh, engine, what would it look like? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so Embiid has missed 10 games this season. He can only, if he misses eight more, it will fall be, below the minimum requirement. Oh, so he can only miss seven. Yeah, he, he can only miss seven to hit that 65-game threshold to be eligible for the postseason award. So they're going, there's no way. Yeah. Ooh, that man's old. So he's missed 10 games because of whatever, injury, illness, whatever, right? He hasn't played in like 14 fourth quarters or some shit. It's like double digit fourth quarters he hasn't played in. Mm -hmm. That's insane. If you're in B though, are you like, oh, just let me cook for a little now, bit? No, last night I would have went to Nick Nurse last night to start the fourth quarter. I know we got a rotation, but let me start the fourth. Yeah. Dog, he would have had 80 easily though. And that's Listen, easily. Because there was no resistance out there. Yeah, at all. But Wimby was trying to do his, get his thing because he got two fouls early. He, now, now I can't really play the way I want to need to play him. Zach Collins was no fucking resistance whatsoever. Mm -hmm. if, I'm starting the fourth quarter from him. Yeah, he finished what? what he had 58, right? He had 58 after the third. Oh no, nah, starting because this is a yeah. this is a this is a different night. Absolutely, for you. this is right. Not this normal. is like you would have been playing all twelve minutes just in case. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Right, because you can't duplicate this performance. This only comes around once or twice in your career, mm -hmm. and when it comes, capitalize on it. Right. Yeah, right? shouldn't have to put him back in and get yeah. seventy. Right? Yeah, you shouldn't have to. Like he should have already he started. Already and been, then be like, all right, yeah. that's enough. Easily, there was no resistance out there. Because the shots that he missed was tips. Mm. He just missed the motherfucker. Yeah. Like. And Nick Nurse loves playing dudes anyway. Yeah. You know I'm right. saying, is that one of those moments where? Well, it's shit. I, that, it was in hindsight. If you wish you'd look back, it, that's those are the nights where you. But that's like, when you stuck in your. That's when you stuck as a coach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. you, you don't want to deviate from nothing. I got this one. It's this it gonna win, but still, like it, you gotta on you know, them nights, like Gil was saying, like them special. Like when guys got it going in a quarter, yeah, I know, I know he was supposed to come out at the five minute mark. No, mm -hmm. fuck no. I wish you would. <laughs> I wish you would. Like if I'm on the staff, if I'm on the team, mm -hmm. all right. Especially if I'm on the team, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna go up there and tell Joe, or I'm gonna tell whoever the coach is now, leave him in. Mm -hmm. Like, we'll take him out in a minute. Yeah. Like, you gotta, you, sometimes you gotta help people get out their own way. Yeah. Right. You gotta help him. In this situation, it was one of them, because he got it going. Easy. So, I know yeah. you're usually on the MB side of things, doing the bucket getting, but when you see a teammate cooking like that, you're going out of your way to make sure you keep feeding them so they can get as many points as possible, as yeah. long as it's not to the detriment no, of the that. team. That's, no, fuck that. You don't situation. care about win or loss. No, 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 they was going to they they fucking win. spur. I yeah. understand. <laughs> I'm just, in the bigger scale. It was fun. And then we're talking about this particular game here. I'm watching it, and there's a few shots that dudes took in a few situations that I'm cussing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you can hear fans booing, too, at certain points. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the go, yeah, no, I don't know who took the three. No, yeah. Like, man, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, throw this, but during the third quarter, when he got it going, I'm watching this shit feel, I ain't gonna call him because I'm, dude, are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> dude, if you don't slow your ass down and throw this boy the ball, man, yeah. that's when you ain't, you ain't in tune to what's going on out here. You worried about your fucking self. Yeah. Nah, that's no. Nice. And then like you ain't got nobody like me on the team, because I'm going to say something to you. Dude, are you serious with that shot, dog? Do you, do you not? Do you not see what's going on <laughs> here? Not. I'm going to ask you. You don't see what the yeah, fuck you Yeah, please look up on the scoreboard, man. I wish you would. How often are you guys checking stat sheets in the game? Like, how cognizant of you are of your stats while you're playing the game? 
For the most part, when you're rolling, you're not really, yeah. you're not yeah. paying attention, but your teammates are. Everybody else is telling you. Yeah, everyone else okay. is. You, know, you know you cooking, yeah, yeah. but you don't know what you got because you ain't looking up there. You know, like, I got this shit feel good right yeah, now. Yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. right? They, they have like the right <laughs> shit. feel good. <laughs> this shit feel good right now. Like, I'm... Are y'all not keeping stats in your head though, or did it just get nah, so that, uh, that's you tough put, at that you point. You act like yeah. you can. No, it's some very guys. Hard to do yeah. that. You know, you got seven, some eight. Some guys like rebound. Yeah, you counting. Wait, like <laughs> rebounds. Me, like Ooh. some guys keeping track of their rebounds. Like rebounds are more easier to keep mm -hmm. track of. Like yeah. so, I heard. No, I, keep I know track some of guys. Threes. I'll keep track of. Threes. Makes misses like you know. Yeah. And is it like if I make two threes, I can shoot two more? Exactly. Yeah, like if I if I hit a few, I'm like, all right, this next one going up for sure. But like and I if like, you missed them too? No, I'm still going to shoot them, oh, but okay, I'm like, this one's going up for sure. And if you miss them too, like, yeah, I got to make two more to get to 50%. Or if I miss, always. Like, yeah, like, I'd like, yeah, I would love to stay over 50%, but like sometimes, okay, I've missed one or two. Let me go try and get fouled or let me go do something else. Definitely and he had bad. 40 shots. It was supposed to be more than that. He had yeah. more. I'm just saying. Count all them damn free yeah. throws. How I many he took like 20 some free yeah. throws? Yeah, and a lot of them misses was tips. Like I'm like I'm watching the shit. He just tipping the bitch, and he not going in. He tipping it and tipping it and tipping. Tip, like, uh, yeah, he's, he's okay. You take away the free throws, he still had fifty. A lot so. of them offensive rebounds. A lot of them rebounds. A lot of them eighteen rebounds was offensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we talked about this before. Even Embiid uh, shooting twenty three free throws, making twenty one out of twenty three. Impressive. A lot of guys at that size wouldn't be able to shoot like that. It might have cost themselves a seventy point game finish somewhere in the sixty range. Still impressive nonetheless, but. His ability to be a knockdown free throw shooter, I think, just adds to that because you can't foul him. Yeah, cause, and then that's why when they said that he's comparable to Shaq, like, no, because you can't scheme for him like you scheme for Shaq as far as, like, just hack a Shaq because Embiid is going to knock those free throws down. Mm -hmm. so. so where does Embiid's performance rank amongst the best that you've seen? Like, on TV? Or just on during TV. your life? Yeah. Oh, no, I, I was watching the Kobe game because we was playing Toronto the next night. Mm-hmm. So I'm scouting, doing homework. <laughs> like, I'm watching Toronto, like, shit, we play the motherfucker, I'm... Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. It's that moment, like, you realizing. Like, I was there when Melo scored 33 in the quarter. I was there when he scored 60 in the garden. Seen a few good ones. Okay. Like, Steph had 54 in the guard, and I was on the Nick team then. Yeah, that <laughs> shit was impressive. So, <laughs> yeah, I didn't but see But even though you know you're on the opposing team, are you just, a, as a fan of the game, to see a guy cooking like that? Are you mad in those moments, or are you like, damn? It was only once I was opposed, yeah, when Steph was cooking. No shit, no nothing you can do. Like, I was, yeah, witnessing this shit, like, talking to people on the bench, like, God damn. <laughs> so, good. Where, where does it be the performance rank among the best you've seen? Was okay, that Kobe 81? Booker 70. On the Celtics back in the day. Because those are jump shots. I will put Clay. Mm -hmm. I will put Clay that. in front of Embiid. I mean, 11 dribbles? Five. Yeah, because, that you know, it's, it's buckets. Watch. You know, it's just pure yeah, bucket yeah, getting. Yeah, that's impressive. Right? Um, and then probably Embiid. And the amount of minutes he played, too. Yeah. Like, even, even the 70 something in 37 minutes, that's fucking. It's almost frustrating because it's like, damn, it could have been 80 in, in 44 minutes or whatever, you know, like y'all yeah. said, like, impressive to be able to do in 37 minutes, but... Who do you think, who, who do you think can break the 81? Who will be the player to do it? In this, in, really, in this, this NBA? That's what I'm probably saying. Him? It, could be, it could be a few players, I think. Probably him. Embiid? Yeah. Do we, do we think we'll see somebody break that 81 point in our lifetime? Shit, this season. It's trend. I mean, but the, the amount of scoring that's going on, it feels like it's trending that way. Now we've had three. First we've had three seventy-point scores in the last thirteen months. Yeah, see, the guard, the guards is harder because you're you're spending more energy pushing down the court, driving, and all that. So, you know, the easiest without energy is probably Embiid, right? You know, because he can shoot the three also. Yeah. But he only Gross. made, it was one for two. I know, but that's what I'm saying. But because he can shoot it, you know. <laughs> and, yo, just, it, it was yeah. one for two. Yeah, so. So what, his lack of free, his lack of three-point shooting, he makes up for on the free throw line, I feel. Like, I feel like he plays a few more minutes. No, he could have had it. He could, that's what I'm saying, because that's five, it. six more free throws. It, it, it was. The way Cat was shooting threes last night, I thought that he was, he was going to be good. Closer than that was cat. That's that's coach's fault right there. I mean, oh. 44 in the first half. 
I thought he was going to get it. We're going to talk about it in a second, but I'm just like, man, you see that come through? It's like, he had 58 in, in the end of the third. Yes. And, you know, yeah, yeah. different result. Let's talk a little bit. Ken, you were watching that game just about Wimby. Uh, impressive performance for him as well, 33-7. and seven. Obviously gets lost in the MB sauce of the 70 piece. Mm -hmm. Spurs only lost that game by 10 points. Mm -hmm. You know, so even despite, you know, MB dropping the 70, still a close enough game. Wimby 10 for 19 from the field, 11 for 12 from the free throw line. His fourth 30-point game this season. How impressive was that Wimby 33 piece on the Sixers? Oh, no, I was impressed with him. Um, I, I, physically, I knew he was going to struggle on the other end. Because he just, just been watching him be, just punish yeah. the NBA night in, night out. I knew that was going to be a, I didn't know it was going to be 70 worthy, but I knew it was going to be a, <laughs> it was going to be an easy three quarters, whatever it was. For yeah, him, for sure. Right? Nah, he, yeah, it, yeah, he made some plays, man. I was like, yo, got a great feel for the game, seeing that he's had more games under his belt now. I didn't want to judge him from the summer league or the first month of the season yeah. like everybody else was doing. He made one play like, yo, know, and be like he was playing great D, couldn't go nowhere. Left hand like hook, half hook from outside the paint and just basically dropped the bitch in. Like mm -hmm. went around and beat arms and dropped the bitch in. I was like, yo, man, like there's no defense for that. Like and he really like he thinks he's a guard at the time. Like he's they taking the ball out of bounds and he's asking for the outlet. <laughs> like he back, he's in the backcourt trying to bring that bitch up, and they looking at him like, no, come on, man. <laughs> like, still but, don't feel like he has the personnel on that squad to, to give him the rock enough because that thirty three could have easily been a forty, even with the foul trouble. I'm just saying, like, he yeah, still they getting looked off shots, at times. They were making shots last night. They played well. They were making shots. Yeah. They made plays. Philly defense at times was, yeah, they was getting a lot of open looks. But I felt there's times he's coming to the basket. Like throw it up and do. It. Just yeah, of course. It's <laughs> like, nah, we good, we good, big fella. Yeah, KJ had a chance to boom stick his ass and then realize how tall he was, and his, he realized how high he jumped. I was like, yeah, you should have boom sticked his ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, he was right in there. Yeah, he had a couple nice lives last night. So, and B said he thinks Wimby could be the one to break Wilt's record. Said it in the video. Don't know if it was trolling, like when he said Joker is uh, the best player in the world right now. I mean, but he said facts are cap. Do we think that Wimby, a little bit down the road, a little bit bigger, just with his ability to score at all three levels, shoot a high percentage from the free throw get line, some teammates that give him the ball, could get close to breaking that Wilt record? If he gets teammates that give him the ball more, you have to get a shot attempts. A hundred points is a lot of points. Yeah, that's a lot of points. It's a lot of it's gonna be a lot of yeah, that's a lot of a lot, a lot of, of easy. Free throws. I mean, because seven six is it should be easier for him because he can just they can just they can just throw the ball up bottom just go just get to the rim and just throw it up you just grab it and do that just Every grab time. it they can fifty you know kind of like how Wilt did it when he yeah. when he broke it you know just you know tall oh, excuse me watch out watch out watch out just <laughs> ah <laughs> yeah. they, where's the video <laughs> it was the funniest they got. Every fucking clip of Wilt doing whatever he wanted Except in life. Jump in, women, pictures of him at the club. Hey, just not that video. They got Wilt at MLK's <laughs> funeral. They got Wilt, <laughs> they got got Wilt everywhere. <laughs> Except uh, dropping on like nobody just it's drew a picture crazy. of it. Yeah, like, so that's, that's the funny part. That's the funny. They got every video of Wilt but that. I mean, they might have stayed. They might have stole that video. That's all. Yeah. Most people the got it. You, you know how much that'd be? That, that'd be worth a lot. But what you gonna do with it? Most people just holding know. on to it. Yeah, he have to score. It'd be thirty free throws. But that's the ability to shoot three. That's what I'm saying. Like the threes seems like if he can get hot a couple years down the road, once he masters playing in the league, if he could get hot, hit, hit seven to ten threes. It'd, it'd, it'd be one of those games where. He's having a, a great night, and the other team is playing great, and they go into like an overtime and, and a double overtime, some shit like that, that. His team will probably have to sell a little bit just to get, get that thing to OT to keep stretching yeah. it. One of those, you got like 90, and then it's about you got the game winning, and you just miss it on purpose so you can get the extra 10 in the overtime, the double overtime? Yes, sir. Have you ever done that, Gil? No. <laughs> you can tell the truth. On Lexi's, it's Lexi's arena now. You can tell the truth. This is a safe space. Have you ever been like, oh, I'm cooking. Space. I'm uh -huh. cooking. Let me just miss this one. We can keep this game because I can get five more minutes. Nah, that wasn't the game winner. Okay. For sure. So we talked about Wimby uh, while 
or we talked about Embiid, uh, while he was getting busy, leading the Sixers to a win, Carl Anthony Towns was putting on a show as well in Minnesota. Mark Williams, uh, lower back. Cat dropped 44 points in the first half against the Hornets, including eight threes. Absolutely dominating first half performance, but as you, you look at the score with all the shots he's hitting, a little too close for comfort. Uh, <laughs> that's why I'm watching every highlight. It's like, wait a minute. Okay, now Vander up 11 here, but slowly started to, to dwindle down. Uh, Cat uh, finished with a franchise record, 62 points. Only problem is the Wolves lost the game. Cat sat for part of the fourth quarter. Wow. They came back and you think that was a foul? Wow. For two. We're not getting that call. Okay. Anderson work it in. Over to Towns. Yeah. Had a chance to tie the game at the end. Yeah, uh, very interesting play call. So Cat missed two crucial shots late in the fourth quarter. Appeared <sighs> <laughs> to get fouled on that one. I thought it was a foul. Yes. Well, yeah, that... Yeah, he got his whole arm torn off. Yeah, and I know people don't really mess with Cat like that, but if you have a game like that, you get that you get that call, no matter what. So that was crazy that they didn't call that foul for him. So after the game, Wolves head coach Chris Finch went at Cat and the entire team for tricking off what should have been an easy win. It was an absolute disgusting performance of defense <laughs> and immature basketball. Um, all the way through the game, so it really didn't slip away. It had been there from the jump. So this is what happens when you uh, have this type of approach. Like I said, there's a lot of ways to be immature. There's always a lot of ways to be immature. Um, and there was a lot of immature performances here throughout the, the roster. We totally disrespected uh, the game ourselves. Um, and we got exactly what we deserve, so. Chris, did, did you also see, I mean, did it turn into Carl trying to hunt? Like a, Absolutely. a big number. And yeah, I mean it was. I mean, but for a while, I mean, it was going. Um, but you know, down the stretch, we you got uh, you know kind of dried up for us. So, what do you think about Cat's performance and Finch's comments after the game? I wonder if you would have said the the same things if they had won that game, because like you said, like the game was close the whole time. Yeah. So I didn't start watching until. Um, maybe the th middle of the third, and then I kind of saw Cat kind of hunting for that 70 ball. I don't know if he was on, well, checked his phone at halftime and someone told him, or he really didn't know, but like you could tell that he's like, oh, I gotta get, I gotta get 70 for sure. Wasn't they up? Yeah. It was up a lot. Mm -hmm. It was a 15 point. Is Coach gonna take responsibility for not having him in at all? I, you know, I mean, it, was his play calling immature too? Was his sub immature too? Because there was a point in the game where when you took him out, y'all was up. When you put him back in, it was 76, 71 by the time he got back in the game. So y'all was already down five when you put him back in. You know, so just... Coach got to look in the mirror, too. Yeah, he had to take responsibility. Because, you know, even though they can't play defense, y'all you know, not playing defense shit. The other team ain't playing defense either. If he got fucking 58 already. So, hypothetical well, world, and has that <clears> same <throat> exact performance. Same exact performance. You think Finch is going to make comments like that, calling Ann out? Yeah, I, shit. Yeah. Obviously. Hmm? I, yeah. You think so? Yeah, I don't see nothing different. But let me tell you, so... Somebody probably said something to Coach that he out here hunting, trying to do what MB just did. Somebody probably got wind to him. That's why he said it. And has he ever been subbed in and out offense defense like that? Is that like a normal strategy they use? Who, who is he guarding? The, his man didn't well, that's have what no I'm saying. points. I mean, at the end of the game, <laughs> he was coming out for defense and getting subbed back in on offense. Yeah, it was that, odd. That's what I'm saying. The, 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 the three top scorers is all guards and wings. Right. And man still playing. He wasn't playing very well. You know, he in the game too. So, I, I, you know, if you if you send me a guy out because he's hunting for points... I mean, we're also assuming, I mean, I don't know what question they asked, but because the cat graphic was next to him, we're assuming that he was talking about cat. Maybe he wasn't even talking about cat. 
No, he, 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 he was he, straight up talking about Cat. He, he, he yeah, said, yeah, they said he called him by name. I mean, in that second part, he called him by name. Called him by name. But the first one, that was that question was about Cat. That yeah, he, first video, I don't know. It was Kitty Cat. <laughs> Kitty Cat. The I would imagine just basketball, but story of the game. But even as you guys as players, when you're in the middle of a game, do you get information about other stuff that's going on? Does that kind of hit the bench? Obviously, it's a different time in the social media area, but. You know, teammate, like, come on, man. You like got somebody, teammate. Yeah, you somebody got, at the end, like, yo, you know, you got know, B drop 70. Somebody at the on the scores table. Yeah, the shit, the, the, shit, the shit, you got a ticker too. Ticker, okay. Yeah. Okay. somebody at the scores it table. Scores. Then said something to somebody, and they didn't, yeah, trust me, it's, it's, But you got 50, you have 58 and three quarters. The fans sitting right here. Yeah. Well, sometimes the, they make the announcement on the. And B has oh, yeah, 70. Sure. Yeah. On the jumbo. Yeah, that's like you have 58 right? and three quarters. What was he? You thought he was gonna go into the fourth quarter and, two? and not go for twelve more points? Like what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> 22, 22, 14. I, I Motherfucker, I'm going for 12. I, I don't even know what's going on around the, the, the NBA world. I'm trying to get this. I, I'm within range of 70. I'm yeah, you have, you're in the range of 70 already, right? There, there's, I mean, at this point, you're guaranteed 60. Oh, got- I'm in the range of 70, right? I need 12 more points to get 70. I'm going for 70. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about over there. The only way I don't get is you sub me out, which he did. Absolutely. And if you're a cat in that moment, are you a little salty? A little? Sure. Oh, yeah, that motherfucker might get, a little? He might get fired. Yeah. <laughs> a little salty? You know, be an Adrian Griffin Hi. in them's crib? I've what? Never seen, I've never seen a coach sabotage a player's career night like that before. Okay. Yeah, that was, like that's what I said. Blatant. He can say whatever he wants. Imma- he might be. He might say immature because when he was subbing Cat out, Cat probably was getting mad. Yeah, that's probably the immature part of it. That he was getting subbed out and he's getting mad, and it's like, yo. And we playing the Charlotte Hornets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like we lose. Like and we lose. We lose it because you subbed me out. And you lost. We lost to the Charlotte Hornets. Lost yeah. the Charlotte Hornets at home. At home. Yeah. At home. It's true. Like, oh, you being selfish. Bitch, yes. <laughs> yes, I'm being selfish. I got 58 motherfucking points. Yes, I'm being selfish. 44 and a half. When I scored 60, and you know, we I came back at the end, and it was like, hey yo, I just scored 60 on Kobe. Coach is like, and we won. Yeah, fuck that. I just scored 60 on Kobe. I don't give a fuck what you talk about. <laughs> Bring it in. One, two, three. 60. 60. <laughs> Ain't no wizards got right. that. What you talking about? This. this that's 60. <laughs> oh, and it's crazy because once MB did his 70, and then like all of Twitter quickly pivoted to yeah. Cat. Everyone pivoted. Yeah. And then I was like, because oh, it was no. like in B third quarter, and B's got 58 uh, in the third. They, yeah. But Cat then it was like, Cat got 44 at halftime. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I said. And he finished with 58 in the, in the third, too. So I'm like, oh, shit. Veto. This is about to be so. Woo. Hater. So this is the 21st hater. time a player scored 60 or more points in a losing effort. Unsurprisingly, Will did it 10 times in his career. He was 22 and 10 in games where he scored 60 or more 20, points. That's a good ass record, though. Will also, I think, has the record for most points in a loss. He had 78 in a triple overtime loss to the Lakers back in 1961. Jeez. So have you guys ever Your been team in? Team suck. <laughs> <laughs> ever been in a game where you or someone you know was stat chasing to the detriment of the team? Yeah, have you ever been in that situation? Yep. Is, he, you? is he in the room right now? <laughs> was it you? I mean, every, never, but we won every game I done cooked. 60 win, 54 win, 51. We, uh, we won, sir. Okay. Yeah, have you ever had. Lexi, can you handle your, uh, Lex, your don't, host? Don't listen to him, Lexi. <laughs> <Mm-mm>. You're afraid <laughs> to you, you handle him. Me and Joe like this. Can you handle, handle him. Even when please. I'm over there, we're like this. You know, have you ever had a 47 point game that ended in a loss? I mean, I had a lot of 40, so probably. Okay, that's not. That. Yeah. <laughs> I don't count. Yeah, I don't count. <laughs> that wasn't hunting, that was just a game. Uh, uh, oh. You know, a little 47 piece. No, nah, but yeah, you, the most points you scored in a, in a loss, 47, the Heat, December 30th, 2015, or 2005. Can you. Well, that's just Gary Payton. Oh, yeah, I was busting his ass. <laughs> you remember that one? Yeah, yeah, I busted his ass. So after that game, you said how December do you feel? 30th? I uh, no, great. Yeah, December 30th, 2005. It's a good day. Yeah, you know, Kenya's birthday. <laughs> and you had 29 points four times and lost. That was your most. Oh, damn. You scored, you know, but cooking, I blame your team. Like, do you remember the most damn. you had in the game? He Googled it, so be careful. That we lost? Yeah. No. Good, we don't either. 
Yeah. We scored. Yeah. Lexi's Arena, we don't. You scored seven one year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> this is Lexi's I think Arena. all my career highs in the W. Oh, no. No, I don't remember. I remember we played here once in L.A. when I was on the Lynx, and we were, like, down, like, 30 or something. I wasn't, I hadn't really played, and our coach was, like, over the starters, and she was, like, bench, do whatever you, do whatever you want. So I just started jacking threes. Awesome. We, we lost by, like, eight or something. We came back. How much did you have? I don't know. I think I had, like, five threes or something. I was just... Mm. Just this is Lexi's arena, it. so we only focus on the positive when it comes to our, our namesake, Lexi Brown. <laughs> so, never lost a game. Never lost never a game lost, in my life. Never lost to anyone I in the couch in the shooting never competition. Never lost to you in shooting. Agent 12. Like March is... <sighs> we might have another no, shootout. We really, might have another shootout no, next you're week. You're really going to lose because March, I would have already been, have been in my season playing. So I'm really going to be locked in. Like, you don't have a chance. In March, and that's right before training camp too. Oh, you, you think you can beat me in shooting right now? Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting my money on Lexi and Lexi. Put my money on Lexi. Presented by Underdog Fantasy. We we, we, we gonna go right after this, and we gonna see where that money at. You know what everybody at home should do? You got nobody give nobody care about the little dog fur you got on your feet. I can't shoot in these. We need proof of life for Kenny. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thursday, <laughs> since you got everybody thinking my dog fur is on my boots. As soon as I see it, I was like, oh, no, you did. <laughs> but this is Lexi's Arena. Everybody at home, download the Underdog Fantasy app. Use promo code Lexi, which is a, a working promo code. Yay! And then, the underdog wants to know how can you have not been pumping it out <laughs> to your huge family. I didn't know that I had one. Okay, well now, now you know. So promo code Lexi, match your first deposit up to one hundred dollars. Or that was right. Mm -hmm. I heard messing up. I'm, I'm so lost on our previous show <laughs> versus our new show. Okay. okay, I'm a very simple man. See, see, see just, this goes out fun. for look. Routines. If you, if you ever want to try to cancel me, we just pivot. Uh huh. I just sit right here. Boom. You cancel her. King show. We can do this shit all. <laughs> musical we can, chairs. We can bitch. play musical chairs. You can't cancel us like you think. <laughs> it's a different show, though. It's, yeah. it's a whole different show. <laughs> he said that on Gil's Arena. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. We are in Kenya's Arena now. We have, Absolutely. We have a clean slate. Clean slate. Can you imagine Rashad's Arena? It's going to no. work. He ain't even going to call it Rashad's Arena. <laughs> He need to drop the air McCann's, man. I'm trying to support the movement. But we got one more high-scoring performance we're going to talk about. Uh, Kevin Durant praised B for a 70-piece, uh, but KD deserves some praise of his own for what he did to the Bulls on Monday night. Get so, all night left. Easy Money Sniper said, y'all going to acknowledge me in this GOAT combo, whether you like it or not. Gave the Bulls 43 points, six rebounds, eight assists. KD working Damn. on Caruso. Oh, yeah, Caruso, you, don't, you do not want that work. Hate mm -hmm. it had to be you. Final moments of the game, tied at 113. Mm. Legendary so, game winner. Over two defenders, <laughs> including last year all defensive selection, Alex Caruso, former Laker. So, uh, KD's second straight 40 piece, fourth of this season. Is KD the most skilled big man offensively in NBA history? <laughs> skilled big man. See, 6'11", so we got we to gotta <laughs> call it with him. Skilled big man. The most skilled. Like, who have we seen at 6'11", previous? Wimby, Wimby could come for that crown, but... I hate the word skilled, because it's, it's being used... It, it's being used for the wrong reasons. Right, it's not being used to determine nothing. It's used, oh, this is the most skilled person ever. Duh. Is that a duh for KD? Duh. I mean, I mean, it's it, evolution says that, right? You know, these are the most, these are the fastest cars in history. Duh. <laughs> duh. <laughs> yeah, they're, like, not gonna, they're not gonna ever be less skilled than the past. There, uh, there could come a point. These are the best skilled like the dunkers best ever. Best. Duh. There could come a point, though. There's, there's going to be a That's point where it goes. the dunk contest is going to look like, what, 1980? Hey. A regular windmill wins it. Like, no, man. Like, Judgment Day, Gil, Terminator I just, I just hate that people are using the word skill to define that this person's better than... I'm just saying his bag, his toolbox for somebody that size. Have we seen anything? For like right now, yes. But, you know, we can see Wimby. Right? We can see what... 
Yeah. Seven six looks like with the same bag, right? Are we gonna eventually say Winby is the most skilled big man ever? Do you think so? Skill wise, yeah, he has more skills than the previous dinosaurish type of five <laughs> man. So he'll be better than the '80s basketball right. player. Yeah, I'm like you know at some point Shaquille O'Neal was the most skilled because he can dribble the ball up and do all these spins and stuff, and <laughs> you know eventually it just keeps. Is it yeah. wild though to see that evolution just out, you know, through the course of your life? Huh? Say, so is it wild to see the evolution that the game has taken where guys six eleven like KD? No, I mean it's crazy, but you know they're looking at their fa- like Joel and B said. My favorite player was Kobe. Yeah. Right. I mean, you know, so he's gonna practice guard shit, and then so on and so on and so on. So yes, the game is gonna move, and evolution says more skill, different skills is going to be added to the game, but that doesn't make the players better. Oh, I'm not saying Like I'm not, the dunk contest. They're better. Just, they're not better. They have better dunks than previous years, but they're not considered better dunkers. They don't jump higher. Right? Their verts is not higher. Like 48, Michael Jordan, the closest to that is 46, which is Zach Levine. That's it. So all the 40s and 42s and 44, they still don't have a higher vert than Michael Jordan. But if they're acrobatic and do something. I know, because that's evolution. They get to see, oh, you did a windmill? Oh, let me try between the legs. Okay, shit, let me try between the legs behind the back. Well, let me try. Like, <laughs> they get, let me, there's going to be somebody in history in a dunk contest that's going to go between the legs twice. This is going to happen. Right? Between the legs twice? I'm pretty sure he's not going to have a 48-inch vertical. He's going to have 40, 44. But he's just going to... Stretch his ability more than everybody else did. Mac McClung, you were on the clock, my boy. Nah, it's too small. It's gonna be somebody with long arms. They gotta have the long. So when you just look at KD, Lexi, and you guys weren't here yesterday, mm-hmm. he said, you know, he asked, why isn't he in the GOAT conversation? We'll, we'll address that one first. Do you think he has a, a case to be made? And Gil, I know, obviously, you think top. I'm three. out. So I'm asking. <laughs> What did you say? This side of the camera. I, I just said that, you know, to be in a, a actual debate, it has you have to be top two. Right? Three, you're in third place. That's not unless you're still playing, right? Unless you're still playing, then yeah, you can, you know, get into the top two. But you know, if the race is just two people, like and you're in third and fourth place, you're not actually about to win. <clears throat> right. So you know, like you know how like you finished fourth. Right, okay. he wasn't in the finals, right? Anyway. You know, you cannot be in the debates of, you know, Best top shooting. three anymore. Right? You know, so like you can't be in the top three you anymore. You can't be in the debate of I can't be in the debate of all. Top <laughs> seventeen. Whatever the fuck. You know, so been. you know, so that's how I look at it. You know, if if you have him three, then yes, he's still in the debate. But the problem with that is the person that's in two is still, still in playing. playing two. So it's yeah. you know, so it's one of those things that's like you're Wherever you have yourself, if you're not top two, then you're technically not in debate. If you're third, then yes, you're in the debate because you're still playing. So you're saying it's MJ, Braun, KD. That's your GOAT? No. I, I have Kobe third. So oh. if he thinks he's in front of Kobe, then yes, he would still, he would still was technically three, be in the debate. Okay. Kenny, where do you stand on, on this whole situation? When I saw it, um, I was... No, we all know the way KD feels about his basketball ability. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no secret. And he should feel that way. Absolutely. Bad, bad man. He's a bad man at the game of basketball, and we haven't seen anything like it. Um, aside of points per game, like, well... It's, all-time scoring. Um, he looks at himself as equal to LeBron. Like that's just what this is telling me, from what I heard it. And who's to tell him different? <laughs> like who am I to you tell the man that, that he? That who, who, who am I to tell the man that he shouldn't feel that way, or, or to critique him because that's for him to say that, and to, yeah, that's. And there has been argument in certain barbershops and certain, in certain man caves that, that this is a thing. 
Like, people argue this. And he has his fan base that tells him such. And other people say other things. So I don't... We had this as baiting by what the way I think about it. And mm. So I just... You know, I appreciate the greatness for what it is. And... Nah, if he feels that way, he feels that way. I'm no... I'm not the one to tell him anything different. Yeah, I feel like he's one of the only players that could like say that about himself. <clears throat> He'll get the regular pushback, but like the real people know, like yeah, like he should feel that way about himself. Like why wouldn't he feel that way? I think he is going to go down as one of the greatest scorers that we've ever seen. I, I've always said that his game is so it's pure and it's simple, so it's not always going to get everybody's like oohs and ahs. But like he gets to his spots well. He knows his favorite sh spots on the floor. And then he makes crazy shots like that. Like, you pump fake in the air and the ball doesn't even touch the net. Like, it's crazy. So he does moments like that remind people. Is he, is he more in a GOAT conversation of pure score in NBA? Mm -hmm. Like, when you talk about just pure, just flat out scoring, is, will he, would it be easier for him to be in that debate versus overall? Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. Right. I think so. Yeah, I think so. But, and he's, I can only speculate in this, and he's looking at his duration while he's been like, and he's not, MJ's MJ, right? Mm -hmm. we, we know he's on Mount Rushmore for everybody. That's mm -hmm. just what it is. I don't think he's looking at MJ in this conversation. No. At all. No. At all. So I think that in his mind, it's a three-man race. So... <laughs> And if that's the case, then yeah, you, you, you have to start incorporating him because of, we all, like Michael Jordan, like, I just, like, it is what it is at this point. <laughs> that's what I said. He's, like, yeah. <laughs> the door, he, he's not in the door everyone thinks. <laughs> not at all. Right. It's another door behind that door. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, <laughs> like, it's, it's, <laughs> it's just what it is. It's where the president sits. Uh, uh yeah. Right, it's just, it's, it's the Oval Office, mm -hmm. basically. MJ is in the Oval Office. He's the, he's the guy. We all know that. In everybody's debate. There's right. not one MJ person, there's not one person that can talk the game of basketball and, and, and have a conscious thought process and say that Michael Jordan is not one or two basketball player of all time. Mm -hmm. so, it, so you take him off the board either way. Whether you have him one or if you have him two, you take him off the board either Cause way. Because you're not going to put him... You're not, not going to put him... No, you're not putting him at third no matter what. <laughs> you're not putting him what. at third no matter what. Well, there's a lot of people on this planet, Gil, so you already know. But the dead man. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> not gonna the, so, the, so the key for what I said, I, I know, somebody I with caution, <laughs> a cautious thought process. For sure. Right? You're just not. So, but you'll hear shit like that in a barbershop sometimes. And I get three, and, would, I'll, and, and, and you get the get the fuck out of here response, <laughs> just, right? Ugh. So, I could be minding my business. I let people in bar, on places talk basketball and sports all the time, and not interject myself at all. Hmm. And they ask me my opinion, I'd be like, I'm enjoying the conversation, dog. <laughs> Do you be in those convos like these niggas have no idea what they're talking about? Yeah, absolutely, all the time. Get my line up prestige, so I'm all the them, time, bro. Let them have at it. Yeah. What's the wildest take you've heard in a barbershop? <laughs> I, didn't, I have no idea. That's a great question, Lex. I didn't. Even... <laughs> It'd be some, yeah. Yeah, that's some wild you shit. You have to play it off and be like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. like someone's arguing with me online, right? Because I said I have MJ one, LeBron two. Right? He thinks I hate MJ, right? Because he has Kobe, then Jordan. So when I have uh, LeBron at two, because he has MJ at two on his side, he says, I'm disrespecting MJ. And I'm like, I have MJ one. But he's thinking about his list because he don't want to tell everybody he has Kobe one. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, yo, just tell everybody what you have. So, cause so they think I'm stupid. Yes. So like I That's have. That's the funny thing about online is you'll say your opinion. Someone will get mad at you about your opinion, but they won't share their mm -hmm. They won't share theirs. No. Yeah. Because your opinion is probably idiotic. Because one, one thing people don't, when, we, when people argue, I started to realize they do not, ar 
they don't they argue against yours. Instead of saying, yeah. all right, you, you, okay, whatever stats, how about this? Do not look at no one else's name. So if you like LeBron, just talk about LeBron. Tell us everything why we should put LeBron one. Do not talk about Kobe. Do not talk about Jordan, right? Just give us the resume on why we should pick your player, right? Jordan fans, tell us everything about Jordan. We don't want to hear about nobody else because what everyone else does is Instead of words. defending their guy, they just talk about what they don't like about the other person. Mm -hmm. That's it. Right? Jordan got to say, you're four for ten. Okay? Oh, he get oh, he game winners. He don't do this, he don't do that, he don't do like motherfucker, just tell us everything you like about yours. Fuck talking about mine. Right. Let me defend, let me talk about why mine is better. Right. And you talk about why yours you is better. You talk about yours better, and then that's how we supposed to debate. Versus you just trying to convince me why mine sucks. Exactly. The whole time. And I, that's been the problem. Mm -hmm. That's been the problem with the debate. People are so busy spending their time looking at everybody else's to tell us what's wrong with ours. No, fuck that. Tell us what's right with yours. We'll tell you what's right with ours, sure. and then so on. Because that's the only thing that matters. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. That is a debate. Now that's the debate. That is a debate. Like yeah, we got four four finals, but you went there ten times, bitch. I, Shut up. <laughs> Don't tell me how many times I went there. That's not the point. The point is we won four times. Four. Okay. That's it. So, okay, my guy has six. <laughs> Your guy has six. Right, we got yeah, four. Okay. Yeah. How so, many finals? Okay. Six? Okay. Come we on. got four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> how many scoring titles? Ten? Okay. Shit. Shit. We got one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's... <laughs> Well, a good one, though. <laughs> it was a good one, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's just, just go like that. Just, we get the... It's... Where's the green check? Yeah. Where's the fucking green check next to you? You line them up, okay, check on this side, okay, check, check, it. check, All check. All you gotta do. So simple. Better movies have to be included. Uh, so, with debate in mind, who are your top three active players that you want to take a shot with the game on the line? Looking around the league right now, in a moment like KD was in last night, who are the top three players that you want to take that shot with the game on the line? KD won for me. Dame. Dame. Wardell. Night, you know night, night. I don't know how many game winners he actually, actually has. Mm, he don't got that many, though. I'm going to go with Braun since he owns the record. It's a good one. Mm. It's hard not to put him on the list. Yeah. It got to be the right situation. Yeah. And I said, it's, you know, it's, I know. That's <laughs> why he's third. That's why I got him third. Because <laughs> he might. Yeah, 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 yeah. He got, he got him third. Yeah. <laughs> so make sure that thing is going into, to the basket. <laughs> yeah, but my, you got Steph up there. My, my yeah, I just like yeah. well, I, the way he shoot that bitch at any given time, man. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, I'm, just because it ain't happened, I don't mean it's. Yeah, that's, I just. Yeah, it's... I mean, Steph, some game winners in his life, but... But his put you to bed to be before and at the buzzer. His shit be... Yeah. It's he that real, some real dagger shot. that don't give you a chance. Yeah. yeah. Right? It's some dagger He'll shot. do that shit Just the, the dagger. Yeah, like, no, it's, it's, it's the dagger at four six. minutes. Like, you you on the run, and you think you got something going on, and he come down and hit three in a row, and you like, mm -hmm. God damn. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, like, those like the ones that. I'm like, the, like, that's why I'm like with him. He putting you to bed as well. I'm, I'm See, his resume of game winners is not, is not big because when he was supposed to get that confidence as a shooter to hit those, he was sitting on the bench. Yeah. So Steph Knight. He was, he, was, he was resting. <laughs> like them years that, you know, they were, he was building his confidence to do... He was he was resting. He fucker was, was blowing everybody out. So they never really he never really had a chance to to hit those type of shots because he was. But Steph hit some game winners in his time too. So I mean, he got what less than ten. That's fine. It was nine as of like November. We're waiting for the updated number right now. <laughs> you know, Lexus Arena. I'm with it. We spent all night <laughs> yeah, getting no. decorations up. Had to make sure the bow tie was appropriately placed, not to hit my microphone. So. <laughs> I had to hire lower. You was gonna take that off after five minutes. I thought it was. You it's, gonna... it's still cutting my circulation. Yeah, I thought it was gonna off, cut the circulation off and you was be done. You know, some of us are into things like that, so we just got to keep it rolling. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yesterday we talked about dogs, and we have a mostly fans question on the subject. Roof, roofs. What's going on, fellas? And Lexi, congratulations to you on winning the shootout within the arena. 
Two questions. One, what are the qualifications for someone to be considered a dog? I feel like it is the most overused and useless word in the basketball dictionary language, whatever you want to say. And two, why do certain former players, analysts, and just certain people in general value dog over guys who <clears throat> most would consider not a dog like my guy <laughs> LeBron? Why do they value that so much over skill or just general ability to play the game of basketball. Thank you, guys. So That question was from Will Shelton, 23. He also set uh, the Lexi's arena record for most air quotes <laughs> in a mostly fans question. So why, what are the qualifications for being a dog? So, Kenyon, you weren't here yesterday. We'll start with you. Bam. Because put me on the spot. we'll put you no. in that, that dog category from when I saw you, first saw your college days all the way through the pros. Yeah, no, nah, it's... It was having the conversation in the chat. And I was doing something. I missed it, so I had to respond. Yeah. No, it was. It was. I just look at it like it, somebody who was relentless. First and foremost, you got to be really good at it, at the sport that we're speaking mm -hmm. of. Like you can't be. Like you got to be really good at it. Um, at some particular point. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for me, it's it's cold, Mike. AI, um, just relentless, man. Just take no shit, take no prisoners attitude. Uh, what's I have on the list? You also put Russ on there. Absolutely, oh, Russell Westbrook. Um, yeah, it's just like I've stated before, not too many people that I will pay money to see play the game of basketball. Mm -hmm. I will pay my good, hard-earned money to see Russell play basketball. At any point in life, mm -hmm. that's how he approaches it, man. I, I'm, 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 I'm with someone that plays that hard, who, who's relentless, who's that. People want to call him selfish. I look at it as he's unselfish because he's playing that hard and doing everything he can do to put his team in the best situation to win. Um, yeah, so Russ, AI, Cole, MJ. So in, in the group chat, Canyon, uh, we have a very spirited group chat. <laughs> on Lexi's Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy, Woo Woo. Uh, you said Russ, Kobe, MJ, AI, and then you said and with several N's and several D's, <laughs> but did not. Fit. Yeah, because it's, it's not to put myself in the conversation. That's the right? assumption that we made that. But no, like, I, there's certain guys that have show, certain tendencies of that that I respect. Um... So is it more Outside like of myself, I'm gonna say I'm a, somebody who probably don't. I'm gonna say Zebo, right? Mm. In that regard, right? Yeah. Really good at the game. Don't take no shit from nobody. Skillful. Underrated in certain people's eyes, but not to put myself in that. I'm saying, but in Zebo, where he's from, the bullies get bullied. So mm -hmm. that was <laughs> yeah, but, that was one of the greatest I'm, sound bites in NBA history. I'm a little, I'm biased, because well. it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> so Lexi, this is Lexi's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. Who is your WNBA all-dog team in the league right now? Well, I had to type it. It's right now of all time. I'm, I'm I play for her right all, now. I have... She's I younger, so. Well, I have some older Yeah, but yeah, no, it got to be all the time because yeah. it's tough for her because she's actively playing. Yeah. yeah. And she got to see these Well, I people, still right? am a little confused at what all dog team means. I mean, it, it is, but because you just got to. From it's your the perspective. times I've heard that girl's a dog or he's a dog, they talk about all defense. Yeah. <clears throat> so when I, when I saw that on Twitter, the all dog team, I was like, oh, these are people that get after on um, defensive end. Yeah. I mean, I said defense, the, I offense, what was relentless. What was the list that was put out? As Rashad said, they'll bite you. Yeah, and they'll I like always just put that with defensive players, like she's a dog. But um, my list, as of today, um, Tamika Catchings. A, okay, respect. Simone Augustus. Woof. Jewel Lloyd. Woof, woof. Alyssa Thomas. And Asia Wilson, my okay. all dog list right okay. now. 
Are you, are you buttering some of these players up because you have to see them? <laughs> Do they get friendship bracelets too? Does Asia get a friendship Everybody bracelet? Everybody gets friendship bracelets. You know, I pride myself on not being a, a hater. Yeah. I love showing love and I respect everybody. Like, I've had, I mean, yes, at the beginning of my career, I like, yeah, I kind of had to butter people up because I was like, they was trying to pack me up out the league very early. <laughs> so um, this is all very genuine um, because I feel like I'm a gamer, so I recognize game. But again, I feel like I agree with the video. Like, it's a, it's a term that is used it very is. loosely. It is. So yeah, but yeah. I, that's my initial thought really... was d defenders. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you gotta think. That's what I said, it, ch it changed like, I remember uh, Coach yelled at Mookie Baylock because Mookie Baylock used to come in late, didn't really practice hard, and he said, you a dog-ass player. Yeah. You're a lazy player. You're a dog. Yeah, Get out of here. It's just a bad term. You're dogging it. Yeah, you're dogging it. That's why I said it used yeah. to be, uh, yeah. it used to be yeah. considered you're lazy. Mm. But as things do, then, Gil, we, in, in modern times, we take words, we flip them, we give yeah. them new meanings. And then eventually it was like, yo, I, I want all dogs, which means like in AAU, a team... That uh, presses all the that damn press, time. Yes, that press all day. They don't care. They don't give, can't score for shit, right? <laughs> right? Play but they are. They just. They just playing brutal basketball, right? And that's what. Now it's like they're trying to switch it into like a two-way style, right? So you know that's why I said if it was like real all dog team, it would have been more of Dennis Rodman, um, like the Bill and Beer, right? Um, who else back then? Uh, the Reggie Evans types, right? Ben Wallace. Yeah, I just look at right. somebody who's yeah. relentless, man. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, but, but that can also you look be at, like offense or defense, because some people are relentless offense. Yeah, that's what I, and that's why I put the guys that I put on the list. Yeah. Because yeah. they, it's just, that's what I think yeah. about. Yeah. <clears throat> and most people reference, so the most vicious dog people can think of is a pit bull, right? Mm -hmm. Think about it, right? So if they, if the shot said the dog will bite, then their bite won't let go till they, like, so it's that thought process, I think, is what people stem it from. Because then you have someone who's like a dog, like relentless offense, like gonna rip your heart out, but like has a very calm demeanor. So then you don't necessarily associate them with being mm -hmm. a dog because, you know, some, something will happen on the court and they'll just be like, yeah. Like a Tim Duncan. Yeah. I don't have time for this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have some, like me. <laughs> some more news on the Adrian Griffin Buck situation. Obviously, we reported earlier in the show the Bucks have relieved Adrian Griffin of his duties as head coach. We also talked about speculation that Doc Damn, Rivers. I know how he feels. I got relieved of my duties too. As, you know, <laughs> got fired on your Gil, day off. Gil's arena. You can Which is text. funny because we all went internally and we were like, nah, make Alexi's arena. We had it now. But Gil can still pull up because we're in your house. I can still pull up. We're in your house. Because you though. live here. We would have felt bad. Just making you stay up. There. I was thinking about not coming down. Like, I got a day off. <laughs> Be in the chat. What's up, chat? <laughs> so the latest on this Bucks situation, according to Shams, Doc Rivers is the leader to become new head coach of the Bucks, and the sides are working toward a deal, league sources say. So was Doc Rivers out here dirty macking all season? He was using the broadcasting job. I mean, he was dirty macking shit, the shit out of Tyrone Lue in Philly. Yeah. I don't know that for sure. Hey. Dang. Giannis. How many teams has he been coach of? I know there was one team he won a championship with. That was that one year. And then from there, he's been a loser. This will be his fourth team? Magic. Fifth team. Magic, Celtics, Clippers. Philly. 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 Dang. And Emilia Wake. Doc, stay with a job, Rivers. It's good to see, though. I'd like to um, see a black man employed. Hey, man. We love it. Like, when you hiring a coach and you're looking at their resume, like, what are you, the fuck are you looking at? The fuck are you looking at? Like, when you give me your resume and I'm like, all right. I know, good, hey, how you doing, Doc? Uh, you, you, this is your Orlando team, right? Damn, y'all was some shit. Hey, so you, you had T-Mac? Y'all lost 22 in a row, huh? Mm. That's interesting. All right, you, you suck that Boston, and then you oh you oh you got Hall of Famer, Hall of Famer, Hall of Famer. <laughs> then y'all won, and then you didn't win shit after that. Okay, uh, you got the Clipper job. Ooh, this talented group. Oh, failed, 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 failed. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right. Then you went to uh, Philly. Okay, you had oh you had oh you had some good players over there. You. 
fail there <laughs> to show up. Yeah, you're hired. What the <laughs> fuck are y'all doing? What the fuck is this? <laughs> that motherfucker's like the weatherman at winning. <laughs> it's like the weatherman. It's going to be sunny and, he gets and put dry. In very, he gets put in some very great, good You get put in some great situations. Like he fucking sitting in that bitch interviewing, right? He getting ready to look at that, but 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 don't worry about it. 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 Be different this time. Gonna be different this time. Like be different this time. See what had happened was <laughs> Doc Rivers. Uh, this is coming from our producers, not from me. Doc, please do not slander me. Uh, only coach to blow three three one leads in NBA history. Uh, we have a resident. What you fan. mean, getting mad at you? These are these I'm are fucking re- facts. facts. You reading? But coming from our yeah, resident get, Bucks fan, who's a producer on the show, somebody get mad at you for reading? Reading. I'm the Bucks, Bucks fan <laughs> contingent not particularly enthused uh, about this move right now. Doc Rivers teams have also now blown uh, three three one leads, four other three two leads, and one other two zero lead, and have lost a game seven at home four times, five if you count the bubble where they had the home advantage, but obviously there was no crowd. Damn. Uh, yeah, it's hard to defend that. Yeah, I don't want to. I mean, listen, it, 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 they, they want to give him the job. They want to give him money. Hey, good luck. But Doc Rivers' resume versus Adrian Griffin's resume. We say I Doc didn't even Doc. know that was in contention because uh, Adrian's resume as a new coach versus Doc's resume as a new coach. Understandable. They're not even close. Understandable. I mean, why are we, res- why are we you know, like putting your career against his career today. Yeah. How about when he first started, his first couple games, I'm pretty sure he wasn't third in no yeah. conference. A, a wild day in Lexi's arena. Huh? Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, not second. Correction, second. He's second. Second in the East. <laughs> second in the East. Yes, yeah, Holler back. <laughs> you're second in the East and you're being replaced. And then what's the overall, so they record is second overall in the league, third overall in the league. Yeah. Let me pull it up. It's, it's Boston's bad. first. And Denver? I think they're tied with the Timberwolves for... So, okay. second best record in the yeah. league. Second for in, the league. in the league. Uh, uh, Denver. Yeah, Denver is 30 and 14, so they're a game yeah. away from potentially, you know, a loss away from those sides. That's uh, shitty. So, okay, so this is not a... There's no positive for Doc here. And you lose, nigga, this is another team that you had as a winning team and you lost again. You win... You get to no credit. The fuck did you do? You took them from second <laughs> to winners. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I made this. You get, well, what I do you do? I still see the. There's no. What is the end game for Doc here? Dude. Just another coaching job. But what I'm saying is, as a as as just someone viewing the situation, if you do not win, we're gonna be looking at you because Adrian could have did the same shit you're gonna do. But so you have to win it. To get no credit. Like, You're not going to get any credit for this team. It's rare. Pulling up on the end of January, right? Team with a winning record. Got a system already in place. Mm-hmm. So they, so they got to go learn all new plays right now? Like, so he gonna come. In, so he gonna come already, in and implement this is like this. Like, <laughs> this shit is wild. <laughs> he, no, he. That's what I'm saying. He's not coming yeah, in with is, no new system. He's just gonna. Yeah, y'all keep doing what y'all gonna yeah. do. And I'm gonna just be out here subbing. What the? F- yeah, like what do you do now? You know what? Zero thirty four. Pick and roll. Pick and roll. What's the play? Pick and roll. <laughs> the problem is that is it. Yeah, post up. 77. The sad part is, name, name a point guard that he had that he put them in a, a great situation. <clears throat> Damn. This mm-hmm. is a tough one. I mean, you did, have, in, you did have Ben Simmons, who's a 6'11 point guard, and you didn't do not one pick and roll with him in Embiid. You, did, you had a 6'11 point guard that you didn't put on the block. <laughs> they didn't do no ISO work with. That's right there. He's taking advantage. You got him sitting on the outside knowing he couldn't shoot threes. Good luck. So who do we have winning coming out of the East? 
Boston? I have Boston. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to lean. I'm, I'm going to just beat Don't him. Lean gonna lean gonna him. Don't lean heavily. Don't lean heavily on yeah, Boston. I'm just heavy on Boston. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like good move. Good, hey, Giannis, good yeah, move. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, I'm just heavy on Boston. I'm just. Yeah, that's I, I, I figured that it's you know. I mean, it's it this seems is, like this has been in the in the work. This shit must have been detrimental. <laughs> I don't know. This is odd. An odd situation. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, don't tell me he didn't pull the ma out this bitch, man. <laughs> No. <laughs> I, I, never, I, I think like, more likely they had him on tape like, like feeling about it. Give, give, <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> what happened? Yeah, yeah, what tape. happened? Something, yeah. yeah. On, you got fired on your day off. It, it, it is a day off. Bucks play uh, the Cavs tomorrow, so <laughs> man, did get fired on it. <laughs> After Damn. beating the Pistons by nine points. Uh, oh, let's yeah, talk a little bit. stressed. About some other news game. in the, the Eastern Conference. Uh, after missing out on several stars this offseason season, Heat finally made a move, trading Kyle Lowry in a 2027 first-round pick to the Hornets for Terry Rozier. Uh, the 2027 pick is lottery protected, turned into an unprotected 2028 first-round pick, according to Woj. Scary Terry's averaging 23 points, close to seven assists, four rebounds this season. Do you like the Heat trading for Terry Rozier? Need more scoring. Uh, he's a bucket. Yeah, uh, good move. I think a big would have been more suffice, so Bam can stop playing the five. But uh, uh, hey, what mm -hmm. do I know? No, nah, it was a good move for him. Like, does it matter? I guess is the the root. No, he, he can. He, no, he all right, man. All the shit, no, 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 no. I ain't dismissing the man's ability. I'm, 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 it's like a great that. move for them. But I don't know if it moves the needle and helps them become. Better Top three, me. four. Yeah, that's my now, point. I'm not saying that. No, 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 no. But for them, as far as another score, somebody who they can put the ball in and go get his own bucket. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Lex, are you rolling with the Terry Rozier trade to the Heat? Yeah, I mean, he seems like, I mean, you look at a player and you're like, how will they fit in this Miami culture, social culture that mm -hmm. you like to say? I feel like... He will do well in it, and I think that's like the most important part is someone that will thrive in that heat culture, that environment. Um, and I think he's just gonna be excited to be on a contender and winning because <coughs> I don't know what they got going on in Charlotte, but um, yeah, I'm ex I, I don't, yeah, I don't think it's gonna make them better than Boston, but you know, I'm very biased towards the Celtics. We are a Celtics fan, and, and we all are Celtics fans here in the Lexi's <laughs> Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. <laughs> Have Ooh. you cut the checks? Who? Okay, just never. Just, just the one in closest proximity. Not, never. Not for the week. Never. <laughs> it's okay. Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> so, how great of a culture fit is Scary Terry in Miami? I think he'll do. I think he'll do well. Um, they need. They need someone else who can put the ball in the basket. You know, especially to carry them when Jimmy Butler's chilling. Um, you know, you still got Hero, so they have. You know, they 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 have. You know, they're a defensive team, so the fact that they have a lot of offense now is going to be interesting. Um, this is who Boston fucked up on when they got rid of him. You know, that, that missing piece this whole time was Scary Terry. You know, last year and the year before, a, a guard who can put the ball in the basket. So we'll see how this plays out, but, you know, Boston still... Came to beat in yeah. the Eastern Conference. Are they saying Kyle go retire? Uh, you heard that? Kyle Lowry? I think they said they're still trying to move right. him. Right, move him somewhere. I heard back to Toronto and... I know the nigga don't want to go back to Toronto. I'm saying just so he can... <laughs> just to retire? Uh, I mean, if he's going to retire, then yeah, go back to Toronto so they can fare well there. But That'd be cool. But if not, then, you know, Kyle liked the hoop, so... yeah. Hopefully it's just it too much. All this shit going <laughs> on. Hopefully it ain't too much for him. We we will see what happens. Uh, but Terry Rozier, now a member of the Heat, Kyle Lowry. Now wait no more, more to happen. <laughs> Damn it! <well. laughs> There's a lot of going on on this Tuesday. Yeah. We need one more thing to Dang. happen on this Tuesday Dang. shit. <laughs> <laughs> you still waiting on that car? We, we shit me. Uh, we played a little bit last night, man. So. Well. <laughs> 
Ran a play from a guy, got him a lob, like, okay, I'm going to roll, had him another lob. I'm like, y'all trying to put him on display, huh? Uh-huh. A little showcasing. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, some other news to report. Tristan Thompson <laughs> has been suspended 25 games for violating the NBA, MBPA anti-drug program. So, uh, according to reports, Thompson tested positive for... Uh, what is it, a butamorin? I don't even know. I don't use no, no shit like this. What it look like to me? Uh, and SARM LGD 403. <laughs> I, you can just, whatever that, that shit, shit is, you already crazy. know. You already know. You got way too many uh, letters and numbers in it. Not to be confused with SARM LGD 402 or 401. So, according to uh, Google, a butamorin increases growth hormone production, and SARM LGD 403 is used by bodybuilders to increase muscle mass on the body. Uh, to sit on the bench? That's, Averaging about three points per game. I just <laughs> you took all. <laughs> you doing all good on the bench, girl. <laughs> to, to be on the bench. <laughs> he want to look good in his jersey. working on his bedroom body. Well, though. Come on, man. Yeah. You come on, man. How the fuck you get caught to be on the bench? That you can't stay you know faithful why he was shit. We take it because he probably wasn't expected expecting to even get hey, tested because yeah. no. he don't be playing. No, this the man. ones they do test. The niggas that ain't playing. They ain't playing. We ain't gonna yeah, touch yeah, yeah. We, we, we can't. This motherfucker ain't played in a month of Sundays. Come on, let Come me on get out there. That. Come on. Put your name as LeBron. <laughs> Put your name as this person. This. <laughs> damn, Chloe. I'm sorry, baby girl. God damn, this bitch. 25 games. Hey, hey. Shit. When it goes down to just the word cheating, it should be this nigga. Oh, yeah, it's definitely Because he, he, he cheating on everybody. Character, major character. Oh, he's cheating on everything that moves. God damn. 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 I cheating on the team. I'm cheating on the drugs. <laughs> I'm cheating on my girl. I cheated at school. Shit. But serious question for you guys. I've always been curious about how do they do drug tests in the league? Like, when are you informed? What do you have to go do? Somebody watching What's you? What's changed? They drawing blood now. Ooh. Oh, ooh. ooh. They drawing blood? Are oh, they drawing blood ooh. now to the situation? Yeah, I don't... Ooh. Oh, that makes sense. Way worse. So do, to catch this, yeah. Do guys really, like, have, like, a like a really, really good game and then they get drug tested? Like, that really be happening? No, I haven't experienced that. No, they, they don't do that anymore. They didn't do that with us. They do that now. Right? Mm-hmm. So Embiid and what's-the-name probably got tested after this. <laughs> not, not, not to tell on them to see what's going on so they can duplicate this shit 10 so, years from now. Making it be so the they're like, the don't story. take what Tristan Thompson is taking, guys. No, 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 dead ass. ass. Like, you remember when they just did random testing for no reason, right? Everybody get tested. Now imagine, imagine it was weed and then you had all your top tier caught. You really think the NBA was going to put this information out? You think the NBA is going to put out... Them 70s, you really think they're going to taint their 70s, their history? Fuck no. It, I don't give a fuck what MB was on, if he was on something. I guarantee you they looked at it. And, yeah, so uh, who, who's playing tomorrow? You're not going to sit there and say, oh, Embiid was or, you know, Jokic. They're not going to do that. They're just, they're just, they're just they ain't on collecting shit. that shit. Huh? And they, them two no. boys ain't taking shit. Nah, they're just collecting shit. But basketball... <laughs> It's always the it's always the niggas that's holding on to dear life, holding on, <laughs> holding on to this spot. Taking steroids, to sit on the end of the bench, boy, just trying to sit there and be buff for no damn reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, you know, always a reason to be buff. <laughs> yeah. Trying to keep that job, dog. Always a reason to be buff. He available. Summertime coming soon. Just being available. Sitting down there, mother for somebody to get hurt. Shit, you, you ready to go? Come out there nah, fouling. You know you know you know you know he say somebody to name you. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but back then when they was doing the steroid test, when the, the people they were catching, 15, 14 man on the team. Right? They was packing up for Shaq. They needed all that. <laughs> they needed they needed all that for Shaquille O'Neal. Damn, Tristan dog. You know. Dumb. Just dumb. 25 games. So they said 25 games. I was like, oh, that ain't weed. Oh, for sure it <laughs> yeah. ain't. Hell no. That boy got caught for the good stuff. Man. Sure <laughs> enough, it was the good stuff. Wasn't the good stuff, he got caught. Right. Niggas yeah. on the good shit don't get caught. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Did somebody tell on them? <laughs>
I'm just saying. To sit on the bench, though, that's crazy. He's here, boy. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. I didn't realize he wasn't playing at all. Most of us didn't know he was still in the league. <laughs> Never a bad reason to be buff, though, I'm going to be honest. So I might have to hear some of that. Sorry, I'm LGD. What is it? It was. What is it? Get buff, thin out? No, it's. Couldn't tell you. AGH? Yeah. Stay young. Don't Recovery. Kids. Recovery. Yeah. Now, for, for what? Sit on the bench. Hey, what are you recovering for? It's exhausting. Comfort, last right? night? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. I told a you. rough one last night, y'all. I need some of this. <laughs> Working on your bedroom body, nigga. Yeah, and, and, and been beautiful. I need some of that. You know, I got uh, gotta, to gotta, gotta get in this layup line real good. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get in this layup line. Yeah, boy. I'm about to get on it so I can just <laughs> look at your laptop like this. Uh, <laughs> put your arms in. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to be that buff. You know, damn well I'm going to Google that shit right after this. <laughs> Don't get drug tested to sit on the couch. <laughs> no, no drug test and the girls will react to you Yeah, y'all can do whatever. Y'all can be on whatever y'all want on that. Yeah. Shout out Underdog Fantasy. No thanks. Now, now let's move on to Mostly Fans, our last segment of the oh, day. That was Mostly Fans. Here at Lexi's that's, Arena. That's, 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 if you have not done so already, download the app. Use promo code Lexi. Underdog Fantasy will match your deposit up to $100. First time depositors. That is another spirit today in Lexi's arena presented by Underdog. Wait, hold on. Because this is your arena, you have to be here every day. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I do not. You have to be here tomorrow. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I get I get paid for tomorrow. Yes, you do. Oh, I, yeah. I'll be here tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. They can't tell you shit. It's no shit. I'll be here tomorrow. Full house in this bitch. <laughs> Wait, this motherfucker just things out. Oh, shit. Lexi, would you like to be in Lexi's arena tomorrow? That, you are the boss. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. I'll be back tomorrow, guys. Yep. You're, you can also. I'll get, be damn. I'm wearing pink all goddamn week, and you're not here. <laughs> you know, I don't even own anything pink. You also have, is it being your red? I wore it. <laughs> this is the only, and this is the only thing I have that's red. Damn. You better well, go to the mall. Who picked these colors? You better go to the mall, goddamn it. I can now since I'm getting paid tomorrow. <laughs> it is like well, Arena. You can give Gil up two texts, two flagrants, and you can eject him from the show at any point. Just he so already you know. got one. All right. The cumulative, you get up to four in a week. I have something else I'm going to bring tomorrow, too. Uh oh. Another. Sound effect, I think. Another sound effect. Yep. So our, our first mostly fan question from underdog user can't beat cut. Was there ever a superstition anyone on the couch had pregame or before some event? I'm already knowing about McCants in the pregame work. He just like me for real. <laughs> <laughs> so superstition you had have before a game or event. Not a superstition, just a routine. I like to do the same thing. What is what is that routine? Just like my shooting routine and things like that. Like it's nothing crazy. But I don't really I'm not very superstitious at all. Awesome. I didn't touch shoot uh people who couldn't shoot, I wouldn't hit them with the right hand. Oh, yeah, you said that. And that's what fucked me up in the shootout. Because I was giving everybody the high five. <laughs> man, turn this boy. Oh, you did on, go man. down the whole line? I know I did. I went down the whole line with the right hand, knowing that before, if I if you wasn't a shoot, I wasn't touching you with my right hand shooting on. You know what's funny? Cause when you did that, Jenna was like, why is he high fiving everybody like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out McCann's the best uh entry into the arena came in the wheelchair with <laughs> That was <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wheelchair. Like, I, With no, the I can't arm believe sleeve. you didn't at least beat Rashad. With the arm sleeve. But He's ridiculous. finish second on the couch, though. So. All right, yeah. our next question uh, is from underdog user Kitten around 25. With a successful first ever Gil slash Lexi shootout, <laughs> will you host another shootout in other cities nationwide? For example, Las Vegas, Atlanta, et cetera. Yeah, I don't know if he watched the show yesterday. He did not. Or right. earlier today. Okay. We're going to do one in March. Don't know where yet. Most likely Charlotte or Atlanta. I have some thoughts, Gil. Uh, okay. Hawaii would be nice. Uh, Cabo, St. Lucas would be a, Bora Bora. a nice destination. Bora Bora, right on vacation. the water. Just yeah. vacation. Fuck the shooters, huh? <laughs> Fuck the contest, huh? <laughs> you just need some vacation. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, uh, Are we going to uh, do it at the Ritz Carlton? Uh, floating port. We're going to go to Mexico, too, huh? Do have a whole the- bunch of 5'2". Guys just, out there just chucking it up there. Hey, the the we didn't do that the one and only for me. Uh, Ooh, know. that's what we should have it, huh? <laughs> you gotta think part of it, We need vacations. Yeah, <laughs> tropical location, I'm down. Four seasons. 
yeah. Worldwide of Sports. Ooh, and we Disney. get the, the hotel plug yeah. on there as well. Ooh. Worldwide of Sports at Disney. Mm. It's a free hotel. Make our own bubble in Orlando. Overtime, overtime elite. Come on, man. We need that arena. Give it up. That arena is under fire. Time. <laughs> we under time. time. Give it up, yeah. baby. Yeah. That's a fire hey. arena. That's a phone yeah. call away. Yes, sir. We yeah, we I'm trying to come up off the arena. Uh, we'll do a gill shoot out there. Yeah, director player personnel right here. <laughs> Let's get it. Uh, so, last mostly fans question from underdog user <laughs> Hercules. Yo, what's up, Lexi Zarita? Um, first off, love Yo. the show, but wanted to know a couple things. Um, first question: What is or who is responsible for the scoring outbreaks that we had last night? Is it um, the spirit of Kobe and the 18-year anniversary of him scoring 81 points? Or is it the teammates or coaches or play style of today's game, lack of defense, who knows? What do you guys think? Um, so question number two, <clears throat> uh, I'm an AAU coach for 14 to 16 year olds. Um, is there any advice that you guys have as far as what's the most important for them and their development? Love the show guys again. So first question, what or who is responsible for the scoring outbreaks we witnessed last night? I want to say the spirit of Kobe, but I definitely will credit the lack of overall defense being played in the league. <laughs> the, the spirit of Nobi. Come on, this, uh, the lack of defense. Just there's just so many more moves today. It's not that I. And beads, I will agree. Cats, there was no. There so was, more, so many more moves. He literally Which one? Shot. <laughs> no. that bitch at the free throw line, nigga. Like I mean, long no, jab, big. jump shot. <laughs> what's, what's fucking, what's more? What I'm saying, it's the same thing that Tim Duncan was doing. I mean, it's just same shit, you know. But he has yeah, more, he's talented. more. The players are more talented, but you can say that, but there still were these scoring Dog, Zach Collins didn't have a chance in hell to guard him. No. He brought that. <laughs> you know, the, the problem is the league, the league is not, the league is not built. Today's game is not built for someone like Embiid, no. yeah. Jokic, or um, yeah. Giannis. You think you there's going to be like an influx of big guys? Yes, they're coming through, right? Yeah, yeah they're coming through. They're so coming that through means right now, the, 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 the league is going to revert a little bit back because... They're going to have to have it all, though. Yeah. And we have to be able to do more with... Because there aren't very many, like, big, big guys. Oh, and they kind of so, got... No, no, no. No, they're not, legal, not playing right now. No, but they're, 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 they're somewhere. college and younger, they... Yeah. Because right now, what is doing, you're going to start now drafting just for him. So you're going to start drafting more bigs eventually. But agile, mobile bigs. Yeah. You have to. Like yeah. You have to. You have to. Yeah. Which is wild. It's all, that, all, all the coaches who don't make big men get in the post anymore. All that six, all them six four power forward shit. That shit, that shit is gone. You get yeah, you get and eight, six yeah, yeah. and six foot six one point guards yeah. is fucking over too. FYI, yeah. shit. That that's your backup. That shit now. is over. Yeah. That's that's your backup. You're your third. Uh huh. You third, might third, be your third uh, point guard. So what, and also, <laughs> what advice do you have for AAU teams age fourteen to sixteen? What what's the best development for them? Yeah. You said what hon it? honesty. <laughs> fundamental to fundamental and honesty. <laughs> fundamental and, and honesty. Yeah, kids I think have a, a little bit of trouble dealing with honesty. Well, you know, guess man. what? You asked my point. Yeah, I, I know, I'm just saying. You asked goddamn question for the couch. And my <laughs> fucking answer is Be honest with the Fucking kids. honest with them. You gotta be honest with the parents too, because they're, they're, all, they're it's all together. The parents. Yeah. <laughs> it's all with them. No, it trickles they, 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 is an extension. Mm -hmm. They together, goddamn. Your child is an extension of you and vice versa, goddamn. So I'm gonna be honest with both of y'all. It's important. I, I feel like a lot of kids are getting lied to nowadays. Hell yeah. <laughs> Especially with the transfer portal. You gotta understand, it's never been harder. <laughs> oh, you be sitting there looking at the parent, like, yeah, my son's gonna be, you know, your son's gonna be five, six, just like you. Yeah. He's gonna be five six, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know okay, I mean? now you're five six. He might get to five eight. Yeah, you know. What I mean? the, what, the way they growing, he might be two inches taller than his dad. I know. He, I know he's fast as shit right now because everybody else is still developing, <laughs> right? So <laughs> what you see right now is not the end result. He's just, you might want to just go to soccer, right? He's great height for soccer and baseball, but basketball, I'm pretty sure he's gonna uh, cap out. You know, about five eight, and that's just high school and low division one. If you're lucky. So yeah, we had this chat a while ago because I'm coaching my, my young son right now. Some of those other kids out there shooting from three, doing crazy stuff at, at five six years old. 
But as you mentioned, I look at the parents, yeah. and I'm like, okay. Like, at what, about age five, do you, what age do you start being brutally honest with kids? Had nine-year-old practice yesterday. Little girl shot the ball from a certain distance. I stopped the practice. Said, can you make that? She said, probably. I said, I didn't say probably. I said, actually, can you make that? Do you practice that shot? She said, no. I said, I'm just going to suggest you don't shoot it again. <laughs> <laughs> I have those same conversations. <laughs> like, I just... She's nine. Do you have the arm strength to actually yeah, get that nine. ball into the bat? Yeah, I don't want that. Yeah, delivery is key. Like I say that. I, right. I, Elijah, I wouldn't let him shoot. I wouldn't let him shoot threes when he first started. Okay. 10, 11, 12? No, you can't shoot threes. My dad just put me going, on an eight. He's shooting eight. wrong, right? Yeah. What's he's shooting that bitch from down here. Yep. There was a kid in the gym yesterday when I first got there. I get there before the girls practice. Dad on the floor, lefty. He got it nice, but he's shooting that bitch from down here. Mm -hmm. I, I like if you want to stop, like I. Developing bad. I said, is that your son? He said, yeah. I said, you're teaching him a bad habit right now. He said, what's that? I said, the older he gets, it's going to be hard to break where he's shooting that ball from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm blocking that. I said, so now you need to start doing form shooting and put the ball up here so he starts shooting the ball from here. Yep. Right? So him the three spots to go to. He's starting from there. And, mm -hmm. he, and I just, it's shit like that that you watch parents do or AAU coaches do. And they don't know no better. Nope. Like, for him, the fact that it's going in, oh, my son is a great three-point shooter. Like, no, it's mm. all that shit is wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? It's Just because it go in. It's good today because yeah. everybody else is the same Yeah, side. because he's in fifth grade. I asked my yeah. oldest because he's in fifth grade. It looks, but if you want to correct word. it now, yeah. and then the older you get. get. I didn't get to play AAU until I was 12. <laughs> my dad was like, you are not good enough to... <laughs> Travel around the country and play basketball. We're gonna sit in this gym. You're gonna get better, and then we can go play. <laughs> You're in the league now, so I, but it, I look now. It's like seven and nine. They've got, and I'm just looking like you can't yeah, be putting my these first A seven year old twelve. You, but you putting grab. these seven year old kids on, on a full AAU schedule. We traveling around the country. We I wish I tournaments. fucking would. I'm just like, like, what is the point? Like I know money. it's fun, but yeah, like, for them it is. But for not for as a parent, that shit. Yeah. As a parent, yeah, you know, sitting no. there. Do that shit in high school, and that shit was, bruh. It's crazy. Parking. You did that shit? Yeah, parking. Rent, car, yeah, parking uh, rent, rent cars, hotels, you staying in places that you wouldn't fucking dare stay in. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I'm not going to stay in this hotel. Circus, circus. I'm going to drive this hour and a yeah, half. Yeah, drive this hour and a half. I'm going to drive an hour and a half so I can stay in this city. Like, yeah. I'm not doing that, man. Shout out to Circus, yeah, Circus, Bungalow. Some janky hotels for a. Listen, going to Peace Jam? Yo, going to Augusta? Mm. Yeah, I was way uncomfortable out that bitch, man. That's Yo. in the middle of nowhere. And look at the house. It's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a slave house. Yeah. <laughs> that definitely was a slave house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was too. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I was out that motherfucker like, ooh. I'm, yeah, they was definitely lynching niggas. Sun downtown. <laughs> he said they was definitely lynching them. Out there where they was back in, come on, man. No, that, what outside of yeah, it? Like, I went there one time and I was like, I, I don't want ever, because they have they have girls next to me. Right there, yeah, absolutely. And I was like, this city sucks. <laughs> right. They need to. So you was a dealer, so yeah, yeah, we can go there. Yeah, we, yeah. stay, stay, Yo. stay nice. And it's hot as fish grease out there, bitch, too. <laughs> yeah. Another beautiful day, Lexi's Arena. The, the hotel that the main nice hotel. It looks like a plantation, too. <laughs> I stayed at a plantation look a hotel last year in Greensboro for the ACC tournament. Yeah. It looked just like a plantation. It was, Probably it was. was terrifying. The room. <laughs> you get to sleep this side in now. There. <laughs> it was awful. Putting the chair up under the door, locking the latch, and doing all kinds of I was like, won't get me. Model this mm. shit. <laughs> Another spirit of day in Lexi's Arena presented by Underdog Fancy Lexi. It's uh, been a great week. Yeah, smoke. Much better vibe and flow. Gotta hit the smoke, Lex. Oh, yeah. Talk. Actually, you'll call me fat earlier, but haven't been put down as much. <laughs> With the overweight stripper, Chippendale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I'm oh, just yeah, saying. Man. You just, just yeah. like, you know, okay. You look like, uh, what's that? No, no, no. It's not what it is. You take your shirt off, you look like Farley. <laughs> oh, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you say your stage name <laughs> called One Pack. <laughs> <laughs> None the, just call me Director Posse. Nonetheless. But we back out here. We'll Coming see y'all. To stage. Tomorrow. <laughs> One pack. On Lexi's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, whoa. 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 <laughs>